Mr. King. Ooh, All right, where well, I? Now, let's see what we got today. We got oh. one, two, three, four. And Joey might be coming later, who knows. Either way, it's the four of us. In the cold! In cold, the, ice wind. Well, I'm not there yet. Well, you know, yeah. I'm not talking about your character, I'm talking about us yeah. as human beings. Yeah, I'm going to go Okay, why'd you come over? Alright. Well, if you guys remembered what happened last week. Well, we have no new announcements for this day, so there's that before we go into things. Um, so, if you are stopping by to watch us some D&D, uh, thank you in advance. But, without further ado, we're getting right into it. Uh-oh. So, last session on Icewind Dale. We technically Icewind started Dale. our chapter two. Icewind Dale. Um, we started off, and Bremen as the night of the sacrifice of warmth was to be had. Um, after that night of cold, uh, excuse me, cold winds brushing through people, uh, a lot of people ended up passing away mm. overnight. And, uh, was met with some mourning and, uh, sadness. So, you guys ended up trying to figure out what you guys can do to help around here, and ended up having a conversation with a halfling girl, and realizing uh, very quickly that her hand was pretty blue. So, pretty bad frostburn, and with uh, telling her the knowledge of the fact that she's probably going to end up having to lose her arm, and guiding her to people who could probably help her. Um, you guys asked who did it, and it was Knowles. So, you guys bravely went out into the Ice Dale to see what you guys can do to confront these Knowles. Um, while you guys were out, Oriana, our Halfling Wizard, and Yarva, our Tabaxi, Warlock, were in the up. Um, separately transported by the strange cold winds of Icewind Dale into the tundras, where um, they were each confronted with a different wyvern. Uh, Yarvel taking care of his wyvern and Oriana ending up confusing one of the other wyverns um, to kind of just kindly fuck off. So <laughs> after that, you guys pretty much waited the entire night, enduring the coldness, and waiting for uh, an eventual meet-up with the party. You guys ended up meeting up with each other, and then eventually the party. During one of the nights, and during that night, Kish Kish, uh, our kobold wizard, at the time, was, uh... The, the other group ended up watching and seeing this strange creature that looked to be Oreo in her owl form. Kish Kish took it upon himself to introduce himself and pleasantly gave himself a curse. Um, with that curse, he pretty much doomed the party to be uh, stalked by Oreo until his eventual death. So... Um, once you guys met up, you guys head into the Knoll Caves, and then the Knoll Caves, you decided to lure them out, killing them, luring a few more out, and then killing them, and then looking at Kish Kish's hand, you had to kind of make a decision because of the mark that Oreo gave him. Uh, his hand was freezing over, just like the halfway. You guys decided in a rush decision to just go ahead and clear out the knolls before seeing what you guys could do to potentially save Kish Kish from his inevitable doom. Rushing through the cave, you guys managed to clear this, this cavern of the knolls, um, seeing a strange knoll 
and um, interesting tactics were used. Some were of the asshole variety. Some were of the actual asshole variety. Some were, oh god, please stop, you're still doing this to me. Why are you doing this to me, variety? I don't think... I think you're misinterpreting it. Um, that was just gameplay. <laughs> sure. That was, uh, <laughs> that was core gameplay mechanics. And then between that and the Mortal Kombat tactics of Yarvel, um, these guys did not stand a chance. After clearing the cavern, you guys noticed a strange owl-like figure looming and pointing towards Kish Kish. Very strange. Kish Kish was like, Nah, brah, I'm gonna 1v1 you! Uh, after throwing a chromatic orb at her, seeing her hiss, she decided to just, you know, end it all. Taking her L like arm and crushing his ribs and ending his life with one fell squeeze. Mm. Grabbing him and within a few blinks of the eye, they were gone. And that is where we left off really of gone? Rhyme of the Frost Maiden last week. So, how Chapter 2 works is how we are running it is they are basically giving out events in general. So we're running it like events. So, after a time, we're here now. After a time, we're here now. So, that's kind of what I'm going to do real quick. Um... Did I post what you get got out of the cave before I move on? Um, if I did not, I'm going to do that real quick. So. Uh, let, me, let me give you guys that real quick before I tell you where you guys are. Because I'm not going to remember if I don't do it now. I know you told me what I got out of that cave. Yeah. But I didn't know about it. I died. You got nothing. Yeah, I died. You have a new character. Yeah. Congrats on your new character. I got I got killed. <laughs> oh. And all your stuff is gone. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. So we, we lost that wand of the warming. Yes, yes you, you guys did. You have no wand of the warming at all. It's fine. That's no, it really is. It's amazing. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna post this for you guys in chat. There's this interesting item. It's like a it's a it's a strange hook that you found in the cave. I'll just post that in general. That's the name of the item. Hook of Fisher's Delight. That's what it says. Ooh. And um, 50 gold pieces, and that's what you get out of the, the, the quest. So I was just putting 50 GP, so you guys remember. The 50 GP and the hooker. Uh, the hook. The of, hooker. The hook of Fisher's Delight. <laughs> the, whoa, the, you changed it. The that changed the context. Of, the hooker. Really? Of, yes. Um, so it was like a hot bean you just throw out into the, into the water? The freezing, the freezing water? We will be starting off our adventure today in, um, in Bryn Shander. You guys have been called the Bryn Shander. Um, for a specific request that's going to be asked of you, if you guys could handle. Uh, looking to help around town. Um, Yarvel, you have been asked to, to help, and uh, you have arrived in Grand Chander along with your compatriots. Um, your job is to decide how you fit into Grand Chander, and then make your way to this quest, or meet up with the party. However you choose to, you're in Grand Chander for some reason. Whether you live there, or whether you're stopping by, that is your call. <coughs> So, it's, right. it's a strange item, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's it's very particular. It's not really like a, it's, it's, it's my specific. Because I gotta remember what it does too. I know it does weird shit though. Because it popped up on... You, 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 you sit there and you throw it in some water and you fish. <laughs> yeah. If you guys want to fish, mm -hmm. you can fish, dude. Even if there's not fish in the water, it has to be at least a ten foot area of fish. Ten foot. Well, I mean, it's there's kind of cool. It's like it's like it's like a magic fish. Is that? 
I'm gonna assume when they say ten foot cube, they mean um, ten foot by ten foot by ten foot, not yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, that's that's ten by ten by ten. Yeah. Okay, so that's what that does. Is pretty much just helps the fish better. Yeah. Never at all. Throw that in my inventory and just never use. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Strange campaign for this item, you but you know it's it, there. Probably. Yeah, that'd actually sell for something to a good fisherman. Yeah. yeah. They would fucking they would the only issue money. The only issue They broke. They don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no one has money. I'll do one more one or two more chicken bites, guys, I'm gonna go. I don't so did you hear what I told you? Uh, I, one more, one more, one more, I was I was reading the thing. Yeah. I apologize. It's all good. That's why I wanted to ask if I knew you were here. So we're starting our quest off, or today's session off, in Bryn Chamber. You have gotten a request from the town's leader uh, for some help, and you being you, you've decided to gather your party and make your way to Bryn Chamber. So, we're starting with your arrival in Bryn Chander. You guys arrive into the bristling town, or what can be the closest thing to a bristling town, of Icewind Dale. Uh, sorry, not Icewind Dale. <laughs> we're in Bryn Chander. <laughs> you're in Icewind Dale! Yeah, technically, you're not wrong about that. You're not wrong about that, indeed. So, that's, that's all you have at the moment. What would you like to do? So we received the request specifically from um, the leader of Prince Chandler? Yes, sir. Or the speaker? The speaker, yes. Which is me. Yeah. Prince Chandler. Unlockable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So he's definitely the one that... that exactly. He's, he's the one you need to look for. Exactly. So you're searching for Unlockable Hulk, is that? No. I think I'm actually looking for Tuvesa Shane. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, you remember these characters. I, guess. I don't. I, I, have it. I have it in my notes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You got it, though. <laughs> um, go look for her whatever, bro. Don't ask me who the leader of Termaline is, but I know. You uh, know that one. Bryn mm-hmm. is important. She's like the main leader. So, um, you go and you... Uh, you it's, she's not hard to find. She's uh, doing her typical thing of looking around and making sure everyone's okay. Um, you walk up to her and what do you say? Good day to that, sir. Oh, hello. I believe you had a uh, request for me. Absolutely. It's a good thing you came for, because we need as much help as possible. Um, we have had a goblin issue of sorts. Not necessarily like... <sighs> Let's see. My... General of sorts. Um, he wants the head of the, the, the goblin leader over there in the fort that has been kind of troubling us for a bit. But I'm not exactly sure if that is the way we handle the situation. Um, either way, I am was hoping that you could at least guide the both of us to the fort itself, and then see if we can potentially rock out a treaty um, of making sure that the goblins do not deal with Vincender as much. We just need escorts for the moment, if you don't mind. I can pay handsomely for it. An escort? uh, We might be able to do that. Uh, I already sent some letters to some of the other people I usually travel with, but there has been no reply. Uh, But... I have uh, this one with me today. You might remember her name. <laughs> <laughs> Oriana. <laughs> uh, Oriana, yes. And Dirt is always with you, so you don't have to, you don't have to introduce him. Uh, He's so in the shadow somewhere. <laughs> it's just the three of us for right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have anyone you could add to those numbers, given the dangers of Weiss Winter? Um. <laughs> I don't know who that person is. Why did you walk up to me? Who are you? Oh! Oh, me? Yes, who are you? 
Me, um... Me? Yes, you're the you're one. To you're the one who literally interrupted our conversation. Oh. Yes. Sorry, I've forgotten to introduce myself. Where have my manners gone? Nowhere. You've never had them. Wherever you are. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> she is a, a furry creature. I'm posting it now. There you go. Uh, but very light fur, though. Uh, mostly close to the skin, essentially speaking. Uh, very cutesy. Of course. <laughs> is it a tabaxi? Is that no. what we're registering now? No. Uh, this is. This looks like a lioness. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He's playing a girl. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Got, got, got two big old hoop rings <laughs> stuck to the air, covered in armor, and decked out what seems to be a sweet, sick ass great sword. One does, yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yep. And she goes, um, once again, who are you? King. Okay. King. Um, since you have inserted yourself into this conversation. I did not insert myself whatsoever. Let's, let's talk like civil people. Why are you here? I heard muscles necessary, and this one doesn't have any. Some of us don't need them. Yeah, you do. That's what this world runs on. Muscles. For some. Yeah. But, when you actually look at her, she's very thin herself. <laughs> <laughs> but for some reason, she's able to pick up that greatsword. It's really weird. It doesn't even make any sense in the correlation. <laughs> and I look at her, and... We'll see what I say. But I am in need of traveling companions, and you seem to at least be able to wield a sword. Yeah, I can. That is good. Yeah, that's all uh, you need. A sword and your brain, all right? You put those two together, and you bash skulls. So I'm going to ask you this in the most kind manner I can. Yeah. Icewind Dale is extremely dangerous. Are you willing to die? I ain't gonna die. Alright, so that's all I needed to hear. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, I kill whatever's in front of me before it even gets to me. As it gets to me. Splendid. That is exactly <laughs> what I needed to hear. Thank goodness I could have such a viable asset to the party. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Any day. What about you, Toots? This is what? a... This one? Oh, sorry. Well, well, what about me? What do you do? Magic? <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm so Who? My laughter is exciting. Uh, is it? Magic? I magic. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, what? Okay. What? I'll have to um, kill you when you go down. You wanna laugh like that? Yeah, you don't have that type of magic. You're too small. You know, this is really weird. <laughs> uh, uh, pardon me. Um, you don't even know people and you just walk up to them and just start insulting them. It's kind of strange. Even for me, I don't know, I'm a dirt guy. Yeah, you are. So, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Okay. I can see where this is going real quick. Uh, I'm sure you can. <laughs> so, uh, how much are we going to pay it again? We? we. Where's the we? we. <laughs> he asked if other people were there, and I just started coughing. That's all that happened. You literally walked up in front of her face and started coughing. You were literally right behind her. Well, I could cut you in on a percentage of the uh, how much we're going to be making. Uh, exactly. Finders fees, of course, you know, going into our court. Um, Finders fees? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are uh, including you in our I, job. I, I heard <laughs> about this job a while back. I just waited for some people to come along to help me. These That's are it. the first people I've talked to about this. That doesn't mean I didn't know about it. Okay. I don't know about goblins. So, this so, one seems to be interested in how much. That's fine, as long as you... That That's cool. Um, so, am I getting paid the same amount they are? No. Um, <laughs> that's up to you guys. I'm giving a base amount that. Um, base. 
Listen. Between me and you. And me. The base for 100 gold pieces. If you guys took care of this. But I can sweeten the deal. You can. If we all manage to make peace out of this, and you can help me make peace out of this, I can throw in an extra 200 gold. But if we end up fighting, and there's no peace done, um, it's not really the route I want, and we can just settle for the 100 gold pieces. With goblins? I think it's manageable. Yes, have you met goblins? Yes. They're dirty, filthy, trashy, mm-hmm. ugly, stupid, and they kill things. Which in exactly. Ice there is very useful. Do you trust them? The reason why I've gotten this is because we got this, and there's a message, or it's, there's, she hands you a letter, and the letter pretty much reads, um, in very crude comments, we want to have negotiations. We would like to understand where you are coming from. That way we can understand where we are coming from. Negotiations? They know words like that? Mm-hmm. That's what it says on the paper. Let me ask you this. If things are attempted in negotiations and uh, this ends up being a threat. It sounds like one. And we willingly go into a trap, Mm -hmm. and it is intentionally fallen apart, and there was nothing we could have done from the beginning. Would you consider going with 200 gold instead of the 300 we would have got for making peace? Uh, I'm not going to make you make a persuasion roll. That just makes sense in my brain. Yeah. I'm cool with that. All right. We will attempt peace if things fall apart in the sense of being a threat. We will do our best to make sure everyone survives. And uh, if things fall apart before that, we will accept that and let's go. Thank you very much. I'm going to go see if I can find uh, my my general. I mean, you can see the general kind of just burst through the door as soon as she starts walking. Okay, there you go. He goes, all right. We have the, uh, did you explain the situation? To everyone. Yeah, yeah, we know. All right, as long as everyone knows what's the deal, we are going to take that goblin's head, and we are going to come off with a victory for Prince Shander. We're going to take the goblin's head and come off? With a victory for Prince Shander. For a victory for... Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, so, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm but that was that was the discussion, right? Yeah, we sure, were Talking whatever. about making sure that but, uh, we got the goblin's head. No, 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 no. Yeah. Are you going to be traveling with us? Yes. No. I have to make sure that my leader is protected. I don't trust Well, you. in that case, uh, as your leader has put uh, herself in my care, we may be taking a slightly different Yes. Yeah. I am being paid by her, not you, so I'm going to try for peace. If you try and get in my way of peace, uh, no promises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy is strong. Look at the intimidation. <laughs> the disadvantage, right? Look at him. Look at his tiny little muscles. <laughs> that is a... This big dark skin. 18. <laughs> 18. He goes... Hmm. Well, You're just gonna let him walk all over you like that? <laughs> You really just gonna let him walk all I over want you? To just be clear. I have no intentions of things going down here. But I have survived far worse than you. <laughs> Are you familiar yeah. with the hag that attacked? Uh, yes, God yes. <laughs> I've, I've heard. I've heard all. Wait, wait, wait. That was you guys. Oh, yes. God. Here we go. Oh, I'm a big fan. Uh, Good. Every 30 fucking minutes. <laughs> okay. We understand they're, they've done a lot for Ice Wind. No, no, no. They've done a lot for Ice Wind. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a hundred minutes and then I've heard say this. Yeah, they've done a lot for uh, Ice Wind. Yeah. What have you been doing, huh? I've I don't even know your name. I've done a lot. If we can make peace with these goblins, it is actually more beneficial to us because they will help us through the cold winter. Mm-hmm. They're their own mouths to feed. That is not my problem. Well, they've been making by without starvation or whatever, most likely. Yes, but they are an additional thing to clear the roads of the monstrosities that are constantly causing us trouble. 
So, something to keep in mind. Mm. Uh, it's Sheriff Southwell, by the way. Markham Southwell. I know him. I get that. Yeah, I know him. But you asked me my name, I'm giving you no, my name. I didn't name. ask you. Yeah, I said I didn't know your name. Okay, whatever. Those are two different things. I'm sorry. All right. Regardless, if we have a <laughs> keen understanding of what the situation is going to be, <laughs> then I have no concerns. <laughs> and we can go into this level-headed. I'm just saying, if it comes down to it... If it comes down to it and this ends up being a trap, I will gladly murder every single goblin in yeah, that Yeah, then we take it. brass taxes. And hand you the head personally. Hey. Yeah, because you won't be the one We'll take the dark extra gold pieces from you. You'll be in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beat me to it first. <laughs> but, like you said, she's been trying to convince me of this the entire time. I was hoping that maybe I changed the mind. Uh, sure, we'll do the peace route. Fuck it. If things go downhill, I promise you, I'll gladly kill them all. I can't. And please. also, please, if you can't refrain yourself, you might as well stay off of this quest, and we can come out with victory. Who are you? Me? King! Never heard of you. Let's go. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Soon everyone will know my name. Wait, wait, wait. All across wait, the world. Were you a part of this group? No. Me. So I, I am I, now. I, no, you're not. I not am really. Now. I am now. Are you a part of is, is he a part of you? She? What? <laughs> is he a part of you? Like I just <laughs> <laughs> You said your name thing. was King, right? Yeah. Really? You're gonna try that? You're gonna try that intimidation thing right now? I mean if you're intimidated, that's not my fault. I'm saying, are you trying? If, it's, if you're intimidated, if you feel... She goes, okay, you guys need to fucking stop right now. Let's move forward. We don't have time for this dick-sharing contest. Dick-sharing? Let's go. Sharing? We're sharing dicks now? I don't know what you Is guys are doing. Do? You might as well be. All right, I give her a kiss on the, the, the No, cheeks. you don't. I give her a kiss on the cheeks. You make a dexterity check and right. do that. <laughs> she's going to try. <laughs> she's going to try to rub away from it. Whoa. <laughs> You know, we the kids for no reason. 13. 13? Okay, I'll make a deck check for her, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna take that. No. She gets away from it. I just pretend to, like... <laughs> you kind of, like, flip the air. <laughs> no, it's like, I, like, stumble forward, like, Oh, God! I lost my footing. Fuck me! Stop that. That's weird. What? <laughs> I say what? You're trying to kiss me for some strange reason. What, what the hell would I do that for? Hey, you just tried it. Well, you think you're pretty? Okay, let's move forward. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> and um, you guys start to move out into the cold open of Ice Window. Would you like to do something before you guys head out? Oh, fuck, it's really cold. Uh, I'd like to try and find some supplies in town. All right, what are you guys looking for? Um, well, I'm looking for someone who wants to buy a fishing hook. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty yeah, sure. hey, it's, it's probably, probably the best this. town to sell this in. This is probably the richest town here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, what's the base price for this fishing hook, actually? Uh, there's probably none. Actually, there might there might be one in my main mind. So it actually might be different. Um, it may not tell you, but it probably mm -hmm. tells me. So I'm gonna go look. So let me make sure that I am not. Just looking and glossing away from this. Oh, true. It could be. Yeah. It could be in here. Because it says work usually work this. X, y, Z. Nope. Yeah, no. It's it's magical though. Um. So yeah. I, I mean. It's magic. That's literally. As you as you um roll an investigation check for me. If See you if you find uh, uh Mister Light Sword. You might want to know that. <laughs> Fifteen on the die. How much does that actually end up being? Is Light Sword there? <laughs> That is a 15 in total! Hey! <laughs> that's that I am a very intelligent character. <laughs> I um, actually am. <laughs> I am not. Uh, after a while um, of searching, you, um, you you kind of gloss back in your memory and you're just like, hmm, let me see if Louis is around. And lo and behold, in the same spot that he was originally, you <gasps> see Louis Lightsword. Oh, God. And he had just got done selling a, a thermal cube, or one of his last thermal cubes out. And he's putting like a sold out sign <laughs> on his thing, just like, No! 
I'm gonna walk up to him and go, Ah, Yui, it's been a while. Oh boy, more custom. Hello, how's it going, my friend? Good, I found a rare trinket that you, you might know be this interested creature? in. Wow, what is it? What would it be? So, this is a magical fishing hook. Wait, what? Okay, you're gonna have to sell me really hard on this. Yes. This. You know how we can't fish anywhere else in, in fucking Ice Window because all the lip lakes are frozen? Uh huh. Well, you get yourself a uh, decent body of water, not very large, 10 feet, not, but not too big. And uh, you put this in there, and every hour, that fish appears on the hook, automatically. No fish oh. required. Dang it. This is an infinite source of food. Imagine leaving that for a day. That's 24 fishes! It's bank and I don't like it. Oh, I don't like that, that sounds pretty good. Hey, Mr. You're my friend, so it's not like oh. I don't want to not trust you, but... You, mm. Do you have access to the spell Identify? Oh! <laughs> 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 Trying to scream. <laughs> game, I see. <laughs> you can just see this strange magic kind of just radiate through his body, and eventually that heat kind of warms over in like a, uh, a red radiance over the hook itself and he looks at it and he goes there's a chance that that fish could feed a person for an entire day how much are you looking for it we're talking an infinite source of food here quite valuable <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right. You don't need to butter me up. I know what I'm doing here, all right? I know what I'm doing here. That's pretty damn right. good reason. What, what are you thinking? What are you thinking, bud? 100 gold? 300. Oh, 300? I was lowballing. <laughs> I like that. 300 gold pieces. Hmm. Is there anything else you're looking for? Something that you could get me in as an exchange. Yeah. Mm. You're our friend. As a friends? You got friends everywhere. It's nice what friends. are you thinking about? Bracers of defense. Ah! <laughs> 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 Woo! Wow! I think that's worth way more. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, you crazy! You think that I have something? Something like that's that? That's like one k. <sighs> one second. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> common. They are considered common, actually. I'm pretty know. sure. I think they are. He's not. I don't think he's wrong there. <laughs> they are a very simple item to get. Yeah, they can't stack on themselves, though. They can't stack on themselves, yeah. but they can stack on other AC. Yeah. It's oh. like adding a shield. Yeah, he can totally make that. And he goes. Braces of defense and 50 gold. No, my friend. Uh, my friends discount. Friends. Here you go. And he also gives you uh, a, a bag of it seems to be uh, about 150 gold. Just for that hook. I can make a profit off of that heavily. Where did you find such an object? Um, an old cave. You'll know it when you see it. I know you <laughs> <what? laughs> oh, 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 oh. Whoa! You're gonna throw those zingers around. You better beware. <laughs> you better do your stinging. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah. You getting a hook now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Wait all day. <laughs> all right. So we now have 200 gold to split between everyone at some point. Mm-hmm. That braces of defense. Louis Light so guaranteed. Made right from these hands. His, his hands start glowing. You should probably test it. I look at I trust you. <laughs> light sword guaranteed product. Anything with the light sword name on it is guaranteed to give you satisfaction in whatever you are desiring. So, without further ado, I will see you later. Uh, thank you, thank you. I am sold out for the day. You have a lovely day, and don't die, please. I have to be setting off in a little bit. Once I have enough cash, I will be able to travel the world. I will make...
gold out of bronze. That's not the right. I don't. I don't have a saying anymore. I don't really have a saying. All right. See you later. He starts walking off. What a weird creature. Indeed. Yeah. So let's do fifty gold, fifty gold, fifty gold, and when Joey gets here, fifty gold. And what about me? Well, I, this is just me out of character. Yeah. What? What about me? <laughs> Your character died. Yeah. Your character I'm talking died. about the new one. <laughs> no. <laughs> the characters that made. I'm talking about the new one. <laughs> I'll get another one. What you mean? Me no one knows you. Dip munch. Sorry. I'm the best. To, best. You're about to. We're about, about, about to make three hundred gold off this next thing. Oh wow! Well. I'm getting robbed. Yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs> I'm getting robbed here. <laughs> you only insulted him and insulted everyone else so far. I worked so hard, <laughs> walking <laughs> all the way over here, coughing and interrupting people and talking about yeah. and being the person. I existed, so I deserve it's, money. Thank you. It's all right. If my character dies, you can pick it up off my dead body. That's very true. <laughs> I'll fight for it. So, are you looking for anything else? Um. Well, I have 315 gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I survived. You know, I survived since the beginning. <laughs> well, I have survived. I missed the beginning. Yeah. To get to level six, <laughs> and I only have 315 gold. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of shit. That's and true. that's not even considering I could have been paying for you know food. Paid for dogs, you know, food and all that stuff. Yeah, all the lodging and everything else most, as well. Most of the regular common like commodities would probably just cost copper pieces and silver yeah. pieces. With this economy, yeah. But the more expensive things like dogs would be, they'd be up there. Yeah. Um. God, I could buy two health potions with that. Mm, if they even sell two health potions, they sell one. Rin Chandra, that's that's a you know that's a possibility. They sell one. Yeah, yeah. In this in, in Icewind Dale, they probably don't sell that. No. Anything else you're looking for before we head off into the cold open? Drugs. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what would be useful in the cold open right now. We're dealing with goblins. Um, I'm going to actually try and get some information on what goblins might like and try and bring some... Shinies. Like what they might like in excess to normal just like. I might translate some of that, that gold down into silver pieces so I have it as like a offering. Yeah. Okay. Many, they don't, they sure. don't care which kind of shinies. I mean, that's perfectly fine. He's, he's right there. Hell, I might just do copper pieces. Dude, you it's just, Chinese. As long as it's shiny, <laughs> it's Chinese. Yeah. I'll step, I'll step some of my silver pieces down to coppers. There you go. I mean, it, what? As long it's as you convert them, it's a hundred copper it, pieces. It's, so it's one it's, silver. It's, it's one to ten. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. You're thinking MMO status, where usually it's yeah one to t- one to a hundred, one to a hundred, yeah. one to a hundred. Well, one to a hundred, one to a hundred. So um. Easy enough, you find someone to be able to do that for you. Uh, Alright, do we need anything for this journey? That you guys can think of. I'm willing to supply small things. I have made a little bit of money since we've... since I've been traveling. I mean, I'm good. Right. Maybe like a pole, though. How long have you pulled? Like ten foot. Just in case they got stupid traps. That could be easy to procure from a wood worker. I'm pretty sure uh, Lonely would have probably wood has probably gotten back in business with wood supplies, so it's possible we could try and get something like that. Uh, here, and I'll hand you um, two gold pieces. It shouldn't be more than that. All right, sweet. And I go uh, look for someone who could probably sell me a ten foot pole. That's a regular ten foot pole. Okay, you find a strange man in a coat. Does he have a <laughs> ten foot pole? It's, it's, it's a pretty long coat. It's it, it's it's got like shadows. The ten foot. Ten and, long? and he's 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 got like a stall and he's got strange weaponry. So what do you say to him? Hello, sir. Oh yeah. 
Hello. Good day to you. Good day to you too. Oh. I see you are under the weather. I'm very sick. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey. I, I was wondering though. Huh? You're pretty tall. I'm very tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty great too. So, do you by any chance have a ten foot pole as well? Uh, yes, I do. I have a bunch of stuff for you. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? I have a bunch of stuff for you. Yeah, yeah. now you're talking. Now you. For you. Me. Well, customer satisfaction is what I <gasps> am good at. Yes. Yes, I am. Cool, cool. So, can I... Uh, do you have a ten-foot pole? By any chance? You kind of just see, like, the body almost like... Uh, are you okay? What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with you? And he's kind of just like... He's like, to the left, to the left. Uh, huh? Are you speaking to me? Yes! To the left, to the left! To the, okay, I, 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 start, left. I start sliding left. to the left, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I start sliding to the left. <laughs> Is this the sun in the pole? And he gets... The, yeah, there you go. <gasps> Remember... To do the crisscross every time you want to make an action. Crisscross. And then he kind of like the body. The body starts to. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, stop. You stop. 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 You stop. I didn't start anything. I didn't start anything. <laughs> you stop. I didn't start anything. I'm sorry. Uh, how much? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're asking. <laughs> you're asking me. You can just see like the mid section kind of like. Ow! Five silver pieces? Yep. And you just could see the top of the hood just like you can see like a small like a little bit of a nose come out. Almost like a beak and he goes. Long go! Sir, what long nose you have? <laughs> Thank you, I, I I I was born with it. May I see it? No! But it's cute. No! It's adorable! No! Uh, no, 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 no! It's precious! I don't give a fuck! Why not? It's you were born with it! You want it? You want it? You want it? Probably not! You won't go! Sir, you're being very rude and I'm being extremely nice. I'm doing negotiation! You have the pool! I gave the pool! Now we get the money! Now what? <laughs> oh, yes! That would be one goal, please! Sir, your changes in attitude is really making me suspicious of your business practices. A gold. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. You have a good day, sir. What's your name? Just. What's your, what's your <laughs> name? Please just see like a little. Something to me. What's your name? Don't do that. Just flip around and stuff. Almost like a leaning tower of body. Just <laughs> into the shadows. What the fuck's wrong with that guy? The fuck, man. <laughs> Just walk away. Piece of shit. Fucking wouldn't even tell me his name. Fucking three dumbasses. Ugh. I just like spit. <laughs> like there's like, like a cart and <laughs> walk away. Damn. <laughs> okay, you you meet up with the party afterwards. As they're getting everything together and um, leader and the general. Or with them. Yeah, so this complete butthole sold me this poll. Wouldn't tell me his name. Really suspicious guy. Ah. Uh, yeah. Well, congrats on getting your poll. Exactly! At least you didn't get shafted in the end. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you do. <laughs> Anything else before you guys wish to go out? Alright. Can anyone speak to the dead? No. Cool. I am not uh, familiar with such things. The dead or the spell castings? The spell casting of speak with dead. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I commune with one who embraces death, but. Oh, not. you talked to him? Not the dead. The one that embraced him. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yes. What's he take? Uh, he 
does not really say he more gives. Ah. That's what he always says. <laughs> I tried. I tried, dude. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, always good to ask. You know, knowledge is power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed it is. Yeah, dude, whatever you say. Knowledge is quite valuable. It is. I love it, dude. Especially when it's placed around the right thing. <laughs> I love it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, let us uh, be on our way. So, does this thing never talk or something? What thing? This thing. Why are you so rude? She didn't have any obligation to speak to you. I'm just asking. It's just, just she following talks, us around. She doesn't want to talk to you. Just following us around or something? No. She's a valued member of the party. I think. I don't know. She's helped. She's helped. <laughs> what? Much more than the other casters. She's so, so conflicting. <laughs> well, I, don't really, I, don't, I don't really know people. So it's not like I'm going to be like, oh yeah, she's totally going to not betray us in the end. Or, oh no, he's not going to betray us in the oh, end. Because I, I don't trust anyone. I have more trust for him than I do you. I have more trust for her than I do you. But it's only because I've known them longer. It's not cocoa butter. No, I don't. No, it's me, a player. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> I mean... Sure. JK, of course. <laughs> sure. Fuck it. Um, do me a favor and uh, roll a d4 for me, someone. I do, I do, I do. You want to? Up to you. Do okay. you really want to? Three. Okay. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> All three of us are dead. <laughs> that's what we're that's that's saying. Okay, yeah. Well, three of us are dead. Yeah. Oh, uh, my chin is um, not very good. This yeah. is, um, you guys don't have any encounter on the way. The fuck? Yeah. I look so disappointed, like, the whole way. I, like, look around, just like, I'm not yelling, like, kish kish, but yeah, <laughs> I'm just, like, looking, looking around, I'm just like, uh, you know, I always thought, like, the wilderness was scary and filled with shit that kills you all the time. It's so peaceful right now. We're lucky. Well, from your perspective, we're unlucky. Yeah. But uh, in general, by comparison, we are lucky. Hmm. I mean, I've seen some shit. I've seen some fucking shit in my life, man. Trust me, I know the feel. Yeah. Yeah, people die all the time. Indeed they do. <laughs> Not me, though. That's good. Good for you. Yeah. That's good. Great. <laughs> good for you, too, bro. That I'm alive to hit in here with you today. If oh, um, we run into any mentions of dragon gods, I'm out, though. That was my closest death experience. Dragon gods? Uh, there's an ancient dragon uh, in the area. A uh, white one. That is extremely, extremely dangerous that we are not going to mess with. Oh! Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that one. Yes. What have you seen? I've seen things. What things? Beams of light coming out of this cloak, billowing. Mm -hmm. and have you seen like three of them? Yeah, I've seen a couple of those too. Okay. Anything else? These awful creatures covered in white fur. They yell loudly and stare at you with their death eyes. White fur? What are you referring to? I don't know what they're called. Okay. Regardless. Yeah. We're dealing with goblins right Exactly! Now. <clears throat> they're pushovers. Depends if there's hobgoblins involved. Or a horde. Hobgoblins hordes are what? Suck. They are also a problem. Oh, but hordes though. Ugh. Yeah. I'm more worried if there's a hobgoblin involved. They're yeah, quite those are smart bros. And they're quite tactful. Yeah, military style. Indeed. <clears throat> and I, mean, I like start just flipping a coin and just... Heads? Fuck. <laughs> <sighs> you guys eventually make your way to Karkalok. Which is the name of the goblin for it. Karkalok. Um, as you make your way to the foot of this um, fort of since, um, you are stopped by several goblins who are just like, Halt! Who are you and where you come? This is a shakedown? Yeah. 
Yeah. We yeah. are the ambassadors of British. He has the letter. Show him. Yes, 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 yes. Um, we are here to negotiate the oh, priest please, treaty between Brinchanda and the government force. I just like, I stand right behind him. He goes, oh, yes, we were waiting for you. Perfect. You are the ones we are looking for. Here's the one we are looking for. Yeah, he's the one you're looking for. We repeat it, go past two to four. We need confirmation. Oh, need confirmation. Oh, they're playing message. About five minutes later, <laughs> eventually he goes, what up, what up, what up, what up? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And he just slowly turns a lever, and it crudely goes up to, and like malfunctions at points, and eventually, great brings up. Beautiful craftsmanship. Yeah. Let's go. Follow me. And I like whisper over to uh, you. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I don't know. We'll find out. This is... It pays seems good. Peace is a better paying one, so we'll try for it. Yeah. Sounds weird. Agreed. Can I, like, insight check these guys? Ooh, which one? Just the goblins in general? Yeah, just like the, sure. just the, like, the horde, just basically their mentality right now. Because this is sure. definitely not, you know, goblin nature. Natural one! You have oh, no, no fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. Not at all. Makes sense. We're more bewildered. No, than literally. Than else yeah, no. I'm like on edge the entire <laughs> fucking time. I was like, what's going on? All right. <sighs> Makes sense, honestly. And as you were making your way towards this fort, you can see uh, it, it. It looked cool from the outside, but once you get into the inside, it is barbaric. It's just weird. Like you can see what seems to be a goblin army of sorts, but this army is um, scattered. It just, they just don't seem to ever have their shit together. But there's certain parts of the fort that are just so well put together that it's, it just doesn't make any sense like, I how see, these like, two see, things mix. Like, so what we're dealing goblins with is, is like multiple heads. clans possibly got forced together? Probably infuse, infusion. Potentially, yes. Uh, Weird mix. Cool flex, but okay. Uh, after they guide you towards uh, what seems to be like the main area or the throne room, as you are looking across and looking through this, these areas, you can see pictures of this uh, almost goblin-esque lord as they are like doing random Aztec poses, even though... When you say pictures, you mean paintings? Or? Like, it's paintings. It's like, like cave paintings or like crude cave paintings. paintings. Okay. Yes. As they are all over the, the cave areas or What's not the, the cave color areas. is the skin of the paintings. Green. Still green. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and I want to clarify, would yeah. hobgoblins in this campaign normally have red skin like they They would probably have a lot of red skin. Okay, so this is not okay. Yeah. That's that's the clarification I'm trying to make. Yeah, I but there are like snow goblins, snow hog goblins. If there's any difference yeah. between like a variation yeah. or something like yeah, that, yeah, if it's actually just a regular goblin <coughs> that has some intelligence, maybe then, so maybe a shaman or just a goblin, mm -hmm. super goblin. Yeah. Um, as you make your way towards the throne area, you can. <laughs> it's best to show you a picture of this guy because I do have a picture, so I can show you that. That's why we have the follow along picture or like the follow along area so I'll show you the picture and then I'll describe how he looks and probably should have this up all the time no, you don't need that yeah, we, good, we, good. We, good. we got time we got hours literally and then we got where the fuck is this there it is, right here. Boom. Upload. This is what you see. You seem to see what's a, what looks like a goblin, but there's portions of, like, its face that are kind of have these um, strange stitchings all over its face. There's portions of, like, its skin that look like stitchings. And other than that, it looks like a normal goblin, and it's got the, the tribal chief attire, and it seems to be kind of like lazadaisically putting its feet up on its chair 
and kind of reading a book at the moment. As you walk up towards it, he goes, Oh, oh! Perfect! Hello! How may I assist thee? Are these the travelers I was looking for? Yeah, bro, what's, what's, what you doing? Indeed we are. Yeah, that's it. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Mm. Mr. Fuck. <laughs> that was his name there. He seems to be thinking. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like, knock, knock. Just to continue, or knock, 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 Chief Yarb knock, Chief Yarb knock. It is a pleasure to meet you, Chief Yarb. Cool, cool. Thank I you. am Yarb Bell, and this is the speaker of uh, Brain Shander. My King, and this is King. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is... How are you? What a beautiful name. You are brought more than you! Why <laughs> do you bring more than you? Yes. Wait, what the fuck did he say? Would you <laughs> willingly walk into Brain Shander on your own? <laughs> yeah, true, 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 true. Would you? You have point there. Yeah. For sure you have point. So, we are here to discuss potential treaty of sorts. To make sure my goblins do not invade you and you don't uh, uh, kill the goblins that are just trying to survive, you know. We're just trying to live up here. Uh, are you ready to negotiate said terms of this agreement in its fullest? Of course, if you me to my chambers, do not mind the fool goblins that follow behind, they are not there for my city. Much like I am here for hers. I understand your <laughs> flight. He moves you guys forward into <laughs> his, uh, his uh, quarters of sorts. It's just another room. He makes it out to be bigger than it actually is. But it's just kind of like a private quarters. That's it's it. like a cozy little area for it's him. It's like a cozy little area. And he goes, Shut the door! Alright. We, I no longer wish to have plans with you, Ben Shandians. So, I want to make peace. Thank goodness. Ice, when there is harsh on its own. Yeah. And I would love for all my fellow goblins to not be so uh, in danger. Let me first ask you this. Oh. Your means of food, what is it? <laughs> we have all resources. We Are you hunters? <laughs> mostly hunters, mostly hunters. We we uh, we have small stomachs, so it doesn't take much for us to be fed. We're just trying to survive. Good. I was worried about certain things, but if that is your main means of food, that is will suffice. I do not have to worry about you robbing merchants on the pass. Well, we have to do what we have to do. We won't do that, you're right, we won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's really bad, it's really bad. So, mm -hmm. our terms will go into uh, agreements of if, uh... military forces or adventurers of Bryn Shander. Mm -hmm. See you on the road. They will not kill your kind. As long as you are obviously bearing, I'm assuming you have a clan symbol. Oh, yes! Throws up what seems to just be a goblin face. That's it. That's all we got. But that's how we know it's us. Perhaps uh, something more unique. Um, like what? Uh, I have the perfect. What about like the symbol for Bryn Shander? Mm. We don't want them to be directly associated with Bryn Shander. That would imply they are Bryn Shandians, which they are still going to be on their own, I presume. We are just looking for yeah. peace. That's all we're here for. We're just here for peace. So perhaps, you know, 
Oh, well, same symbol I marked on uh, his keys. Roll persuasion check. Mm. Oh, God. These are all, as soon as you guys 16. die, they're just offered up to the army. 16. Mm. It's a very simple symbol. It's one you could easily hold it wrong. As that happens, you feel a power flowing through you, a surging of energy. You gain inspiration. Do I have inspiration? I have use that inspiration. Yeah, no, you gain a d- double inspiration, bro. Do I actually get two? <laughs> yes. I have to make a new section for that inspiration. Double inspiration. So, are we in agreement? Uh, as long as the goblins are no longer uh, feel, the, feel like they can go out into the wild, uh, we are all good, right? Always? As long as you do not attack any merchants or travelers, uh, you are free to attack any wildlife and the like. That is... This is the... Yeah, it's a great open. It's just what we expect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, if we are looking for peace, then we are glad they agree to this. Are there any other terms we wish to, and I look over at the speaker, we wish to discuss? No, you guys have been attacking random people who have come to Vrinchanda. You have been attacking anybody and everything that has come across near our borders. We need you to stop. So please do us a favor and stop. We sign this treaty. We no longer have to deal with you. You no longer have to deal with us. Is that okay with you? And he looks over and he goes, Yeah, sure, whatever! And I look down and go, If uh, the terms are not met, trust me, there will be force involved. Lots of it! Understood! I got a sword. Okay. Keep that in mind. Sure. Yeah. Well. All right. Cool. Um, and they draw out a a treaty of sorts. They stand there for maybe about an hour, and they write it out. And he goes, "All right, you guys are free to go. I'll make sure they do not attack you. Let's move together." Splendid. And as he walks out, he goes, All right, idiots! No more! We will have to deal with the Brinch and the people! Or you are, you are free to go amongst out in the ice windale! Just don't attack the people! Attack the monsters! Woo! As he goes back in to his quarters. And they all, like, look around. They're just like, Hmm. And they start doing whatever goblin nonsense they were doing before. While we've been here, I'd like to just take note of the, the structure and the, any weak points for future in case something goes wrong. Um, go ahead and make an arcana check, a perception check, and then an investigation check. There's three different checks here. So. <laughs> Damn. Your arcana check is an 11. Okay. What was the next one? Perception. 20. Uh, mm-hmm. Actually, I'm sorry, that's... Perception is 24. Ooh, you okay. lied. I wasn't, yeah. And... Investigation is a 15. Okay. Um, you gather that this place is just... Just seems to be like a crude settlement. There is not really much to it besides... Um, besides the, the, the ravaged nature of goblins... So you can see some corpses here and there of, of people that they grabbed and, and you know, tortured. Mm. Um, you can see some small corpses as well of, of what seems to be maybe other goblins or smallish humanoids creatures uh, here and there. Uh, the structure isn't really remarkable, but it is weird enough that it stands out in your brain, so you can remember that. 
Um, but you do notice, uh, as you notice the chief himself, that uh, between his the look of the goblin, you there's something strange there. There's like a weird force around the face. Uh, and as you kind of like look at it a little bit closer, you can kind of see that whatever this creature or whatever this goblin is doing, um, it's he's he has magic on him. Just to take note. That's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, did I sense any fey fiend or like undead? <coughs> fey fiend undead, no. Yeah, because that's like a blood hunter I can like kind of just mm-hmm. vibe check basically. Understood. Bless you. Thank uh, you. No All right. Problem. Nope, you're good. All right. Right. If there are any attacks, let us know. We will gladly, as we're leaving, mm-hmm. obviously, mm-hmm. deal with that problem for you in a more efficient manner. Thank you, thank you. All right, um, we should be able to make our way back to Bryn Shander perfectly fine. Uh, you are more than welcome to come with us, um, but we will escort you back for sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, make one more perception check before you leave. 23. Okay. You see a strange construct. Um, <coughs> and it makes that sound. Yeah, <laughs> it makes that sound. It looks as though... It's strange. This big structure almost seems to be... Almost like a robot suit. It's is, it, is it inside their encampment or outside their It's encampment? inside their encampment before you guys leave. Um, strange. You remember this. Or you remember something sort of like this. I was like, yo, what's that? That is mine. It's for my protection. How are you fitting it? It's bigger than you, bro. It's around his size. It's not really like one of these big ones or like one of the large ones. It's a small one that kind of fits his size. But you know this. It's weird. You just... From your times with the Mind Flayer ships, it's... They randomly had these at points. Maybe scavenged or... Maybe they made it themselves. You didn't really have time to actually recall what they were used for. But you know that they were on their ships at some point. When it sticks out in your mind. I look over at one of the goblins that isn't the leader. Mm-hmm. And I lean over to him and go, How long has your leader been here? Oh, that guy? Hmm. Only a year. A year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've lived long. Kish kish good. I'm, I'm sorry? Mm-hmm. Kish kish. That is my name. Oh. <laughs> 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 and I look no. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> and I walk away. <laughs> and if it was a tadpole, he would have already been uh, transformed. So that is not my concern. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Uh, make an intelligence saving throw. What oh, money? Money! Hey. You hear a ringing in your head. Ooh, it is ring, blaring, ring. almost like a radio a signal. Siren. And it's of like the similar gnome. Or, sorry, not gnome. Apologies. A similar um, alien like signal that you got before, but it's like blaring. Your brain can barely, like, handle the noise. So you're kind of, like, winched to the ground a little bit, and then maybe after about 30 seconds, it eventually stops. Good? I'm fine. Perfect. That's the shit I like to hear. There's, um... Something I wish to discuss with all of you when we get back to down on. Uh, I'm pressing that. All right. <laughs> all right, cool. Whatever works, bro. You just 
settled peace. It's Indeed. fucking weird. <laughs> Don't worry. Once we get back to town, I have a much more promising bloody option for you. <sighs> Sweet. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. yeah. Even on your way back, it is actually the first calm day in Icewind Dale that you guys have seen in a while. No action. No wins. It's it's like, it's almost like normal. Like a normal icy day. No one to kick around, Sounds no one to push boring. around. Yeah. It's boring for you. Yeah. I don't know why, but it is. Ugh. You want to kick a rock, you can kick a rock. He kicks a rock, he kicks a rock. <laughs> so and much work. Eventually you guys make it back to Brent Shander and she goes, that was outstanding. That, that's, all we really needed. Yeah, we did good. I'm just glad it didn't go into an altercation. I mean, it could have. Um, it could have turned into dime. I was scared. You never know. It's all good. These um, things happen. All right. Uh, for the payment, and yeah. you, can, you can kind of just see like a, a like a bored, uh, uninterested, just the nauseating <laughs> look from the general. He just goes. <sighs> Whatever. I'm going to see if there's anything else on the other side of town. I have a town to protect, so I will be able to do that. Yeah, you protect it, bro. Yes, goodbye. Yeah, you protect it. Your life. He walks away. And Give your life for this she town. Goes, you know, he's he's a good person at heart, but, yeah, you know, like he has he has anger it, issues. I have no problem with that. He is not the one who paid me. Yeah. <laughs> if he had been, I would have planned to kill all the gardens. Understood. So she goes and in, goes into the back and hands you the sack of gold for three hundred gold. Easiest quest ever, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was one of the quests. And I count up seventy-five gold. It, she didn't do anything. Gold. Literally didn't say the whole, anything the whole time. The whole time. The whole time. They didn't even put an input or anything. Ah, oh, but if things had gone wrong, she was there for. Yeah, I know that. She wasn't present. Verbally. But yeah. physically. Yes. I don't think so. Were Shut you really up. There? Oh my god. I was there. I don't remember seeing you. Oh my god. I was there. So <laughs> annoying. <laughs> Why does this always happen? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Why should I put my input? It could have gone made it go wrong. Oh, mm -hmm. is that how you are? You're feisty one? Not feisty. I'm just help out. She's just there. She's just that being helpful. Any sense. <laughs> She's wise enough to you know that if she does not need to speak, she won't. Yeah, it's a weird trait. Yeah, it's not a weird trait. I know if when it's to actually shut rather up. normal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's actually really normal, by is the way. It? Yeah. Is it? Absolutely. Is it really? Yeah. It is when I have learned really? the power of silence. It's kind oh. of nice. Oh. Up. You would be a terrible dwarf. I'd probably be a pretty, pretty damn good dwarf, actually. Not a good one. Can you make dwarf. me one? You have the powers to do that. Why do you want to be a dwarf now? I don't know. Now it just sounds really cool. No, it's not. Like me, a dwarf. Imagine it's not cool. my beard, thick. Okay. Thick. So. What were you, what did you want to talk to us about? You said you wanted to do something. I don't know. What's going yeah, on? something about mashing brains or something. Uh, are we interested in having this one with us? Yeah. Given what I'm about to discuss with you guys, she might be quite useful. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sure. So, when I first arrived in Icewind Dale, mm -hmm. I didn't arrive the same way most people do by. Traveling on a car, traveling. Uh, We're waking up here. We're waking up here. Yeah. Uh, I arrived here as a captive of mind flares. What are those? Ah, uh, wonderful things that are very enjoyable to kill. Mm. I like those. So, given that murdering these would probably be a good option, uh, given that they are. Probably uh, still stranded on the spaceship that they, uh, I'm sorry, uh, their craft that they arrived on. Uh, could be quite a good option for 
maybe getting any supplies they may have stockpiled. Mm. Like gold. Yeah. <laughs> they kill a lot of people, so they probably have emptied quite a few pockets. So, how do they look? Ah, uh, they're grey-skinned. Ah, uh, it's like if you took an octopus and put it on someone else. An octopus. Fuck are you looking Very at smooth for? skin, no beard. A strange person. It's like, it's like oh, if okay. I took an octopus and I put it on your head. And you replaced your head with an octopus. That I don't want to be an awesome. octopus person. That sounds right. Well, that is what they are. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's, it's horrible. Who would want to live that life? Ah, uh, they do. Do they really choose, though? Uh, no, not at all. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, think they're... about that part. It's very, very forced. I mean, like... Yeah, they were born that way, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm right there with them. Putting two and two together. <laughs> Alright, sure. Some some creatures just they are born ugly. Yeah, I know the feeling. So, I'm gorgeous, shut up. He <laughs> <laughs> says now. So imagine two days from now. <laughs> How do you guys feel about uh, soldering a couple of these, uh... Hello! Elephants. Let's do this! I don't know what that is, but let's do this! <laughs> sure. Yeah. I'm fine with anything that gets me away from it. She's with us, so never mind. Ugh. I'm sorry? Never mind, it doesn't really You're matter. You're talking about... King! Back the fuck away. Ah. <sighs> Why do you always, like, feel yourself every time you do that? It's strange. Me... Yeah, I get it. Stop. <laughs> Makes me a little bit, uh, you know. I don't care. Excited. Sure. Hey, look. When you face a danger mm -hmm. every five seconds, like right. the cold is already danger. All right. You tend to just want to live your life to the fullest. It's my cocoa butter. I do not smell like whatever you are talking about. The fuck is that anyway? Either way, does not matter. Alright. <laughs> Anything to do with uh stopping the the Shardin from taking over this oh, wait, wait, out of curiosity. Whoa, whoa, what? Do you know what Shardin is? Metal. Wrong. Yeah, no, it's metal. It is a mineral here in Icewind Dale. That's what I said. It's an alloy. Whatever. Mm, it's a mineral that a mineral, can alloy. make you go crazy if you don't know the power between it. So do me a favor. If we ever come across it, do not get near it unless you plan on destroying it. My father plans on doing some terrible things with it, and the less he has, the more chance of Icewind Dale survival. So it was like your father. He is the Duoga King of the Ice Windales. Never heard of him. It's okay. I don't plan on saying his name in your presence. You're not worthy of it. That doesn't even make any sense. He's not worthy of me. Because I'm king! Once again, no one's heard of you. They all know my name. I'm sure. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be screaming in Just the like they're going to remember the name Kish Kish. They'll remember the name. Uh, whatever. Who else? Yeah, we just met there? Kish Kish. Uh, How many people have died? Remember in? Mark? I think Mark is a very remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the robot guy. That was crazy, uh, yo. Greg. Uh, Greg. Oh no, Greg is. Greg is. He's still alive. I don't know where he went though. He's. He didn't like us. I Dude, guess. What are you talking about? Um. I'm talking about all these people that you know. Uh, how many people have you witnessed die that Di just died with you? Um, let's see here. There were three on the first quest. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> the first quest? The first quest was the easiest one! What? Yeah! This is Ice Wind, yeah. nothing is easy. It was easy! I'm, I was easy! What did you do? I killed a couple goblins. Oh, congrats. Yeah. Uh, we fought a uh, high level uh, druid. Oh! Yeah. Um, 
I mean, I fought a dragon. Three died immediately. I fought a dragon. Uh, well, we all died, we put down, essentially. But thank God we convinced some mummies to fight for us. Thank God you convinced mummies. Yeah, Never every time you say that, it was more and more less believable. <laughs> Never heard of a sentence like that before. Um, elves preserve mummies, uh, mummified versions of, of their dead mm-hmm. to guard uh, precious uh, grave sites. Okay, it's normal, yeah, normal. Yeah. Honestly. It's like a guardian, you know, sometimes, uh, I don't remember the name of the god, uh, the, 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 the elven god, sometimes he'll make, uh... Gorlon? Gorlon, probably. Um, it's Gorlon. Uh, yeah, yeah, Gorlon. Um, sometimes he'll turn some of his people into liches to guard for all eternity. Some serious shit right there. Indeed. Some serious shit. But they become great guardians of their, uh, Civilizations. I fought shadow people. They try to steal my soul. I said no. I don't remember if I fought any of those, but I don't remember. Dude, they're oh, tough. Man. They're crazy. And very skinny. All right. So when are we doing this? Um. I mean, we could just head out. We literally did nothing the entire day. No, we actually accomplished a lot. It was just boring for you. Yeah, we did nothing the entire day, the whole time. Politics are actually interesting to me. No, we did nothing. Well, we could head out now. I know where the ship crashed. How? I was on it. Fuck. Duh. Should know that. He said it. You just heard him say that now. He said it before. (laughs) As well. Yeah. So. Wow. Listening skills. <laughs> Given that it's been uh, six months <laughs> since it crashed, the condition of those on board might have deteriorated quite a bit, hopefully. Yeah, we can beat them mm. up real quick. All right. But if not, let us be prepared. They like to attack the mine, so if you're intelligent, you will do well in this situation. If you are strong, you will also do well in this situation. You okay, I'm both. I'm both. If you are neither, it may be difficult for you. Okay. All right, little one. You can ride on my back if you want to. Why would I do that? I can throw you like a soccer ball. And why, why would that would I help? Want to be thrown? Just in case, I need to throw you away from danger. <clears throat> and and then she can't help us. So you use a great sword, right? Yeah. Aren't you going to be getting closer to the danger? <laughs> I'm going to be, like, in the back. You'll be in the front. Yeah, but what if someone else is behind us and you can't see them and they're just like, Hey, I'm going to attack that little little girl over there. And then they go over to her and they start kicking her in the face, right? Because that's what I do. I kick her in the face. What the that's fuck the is wrong with I you? That's the first thing I do. As soon as I see her. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Look, I'm just I'm talking, talking strats. Alright. I think uh, the little one, as you refer to her, Oriana. Yeah, that one. Is best suited to handle herself. She is quite intelligent. Yeah. Will most likely make some proper decisions of her own. Alright, I'm just saying. What are you actually saying? Because you're not really saying anything. (laughs) (laughs) I'm saying that I can throw her out of danger! Yes. All right, that's useful. So d- let me say this: we don't even know you. That was mean. If that mean? if if, uh, <laughs> if it comes to it, and she's trying to escape, and you happen to be matching pace with her, maybe pick her up then. <laughs> uh, because I'm pretty sure you have you are slightly faster than her. Yeah. No offense, uh, Oriana. You have no, short legs. She's like, short legs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, well, I'm like like maybe waist high. Maybe <laughs> your legs. So. In those cases, yes. Throwing... Okay. You know, it's fine. <laughs> it's just a suggestion. Sure. Your suggestion is denied. We don't know what you can do yet, and frankly... I we... can do great things. I'm sorry, until we're in the actual battlefield, we don't know. Great sort of things? What do you mean by that? It was a pun. That doesn't make any it sense. Did, it, it did. No, it flew over my head. You, you just, you just no, it flew over my head. 
He just didn't like it. It's fine. It was a bird. Yeah, you, uh, no, it wasn't. It was a it was pun. dragon. Mm-hmm. Oh my! Oh, that's me. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you can stay behind if you want to. You're probably best suited to stay here, anyways. Once again, you are saying a lot of things that mean nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that you don't understand, right? That's yeah, smart enough. All right, let us be off. Yeah, let's do this. So strange. Hi ho, hi ho. Gonna kick some ass. If you yo. keep talking like that, I'm going to make sure to stay ten hundred feet away oh, from you. Oh, please do. <laughs> you couldn't draw so much attention. I'm not. <laughs> okay then. You guys make your way out into the cold open. Once again, roll a D4 for me. You are rolling. Anyone. <sighs> <laughs> I was reaching. Well, she was gonna roll last time. Yeah, so we're just gonna make it fair. I was reaching. That's a four. All right. Yeah, that means we're dead. Now that all of us. Now we're all dead. Thank yeah. God. That counts. Hey, wait, last time we could have been three. <laughs> now it's <laughs> up. I'm gonna do my little heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank goodness. Do your heart. See, it was even guys, numbers that kill us. That's, um, Indeed. let me pull up one. Because they're even more dangerous. Get out of here. <laughs> Go home. I like Please. it. I like it. You're good, man. No, I like no, 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 no. I like You're it. lying to him. I am, but that's okay. Oh as long as he knows that I like it. God, Caleb. That is disrespectful. You owe Chris an apology. I don't. <gasps> Chris. Mm. You are owed an apology. Do remember to get it from him. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Remember. Yeah, I will. Remember to get it from him directly. I'll log that as in. You guys are, are, as you guys Things are. I don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> Write it on my handy dandy. Fuck <laughs> book. Um, okay. There we go. Alright, thank goodness he's statting out the HP. Yeah, yeah, we don't see anything. That's actually what it is. We There's nothing there. Yeah. And I could have used blind fight. <laughs> there's nothing there. We don't see it. Ah. Uh, uh. We don't see it. That's what's going on. We don't even see it. We don't even see it happening. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Oh, As the cold you guys, open is attacking us. As you guys are walking through. You guys notice a slight windy blizzard going on. It's not it's nothing too crazy and it won't affect you in combat, but um, you you're noting that uh, eventually it might creep up on you and you'll have to deal with the blizzard. But even before that you see these strange tribe tribe like looking creatures. Um, they seem to be orcs of sorts. They are maybe looking for food. We're not exactly sure what they are doing. Orcs in Icewind Dale have been known just to be... Savages. Yeah, savages. I immediately mm-hmm. draw my greatsword. Well, either way, we're rolling for initiative. Because you guys want combat anyway, and we'll get to No, I want combat. You didn't say nothing. <laughs> Turn up. Natural 20. Give me a 21. <laughs> 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 That's the same as me. A, B, C, D. I got 21. 21? 21, you are? 21. 21. 24. Witcher. And I'll roll for dirt. 13. Honestly? Yeah, yeah, 13. 13? I'm 19. 19 decks? Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm a Dexy wizard. What the fuck? It's, she's a half one. What the fuck is it? What's going on? <laughs> what's, I'm, what's I'm doing? What's I'm doing? I have too many stats that I have to pull into. Con, you know, constitution. Con, dex, intelligence, and strength. I need all of those as this character. <laughs> Do you go heavy armor? Yeah. Dex is going to be necessary for saves, but, you know, luckily we're going to make yeah. a lot more con saves. So, you know, that's a positive. Um, Actually, just to let you guys know, there are ten orcs here. Oh, 
the fuck do you mean? And they've noticed us. Yes. The, a scale uh, mill. A uh, scale mill is medium. Scale mill. Is medium, right? Medium, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it, it benefits from having decks, so you know. Mm -hmm. It's a plus one to. Is it what? Fi Sixteen total. Fifteen. Something like that. Well, fifteen plus two, right? I only have a one dex. Oh, well, it's fourteen plus one, or plus one, two, ma or maximum of two. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I I was like, I have a, a nice AC by comparison. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, no, I rolled like shit. He did not roll the greatest, but once again, I'm telling you, he did not roll like shit. I've rolled like shit. I actually shit. think it would have no. been. For this campaign, Better yes. to go chainmail if you had the option. I didn't. Not as a blood hunter or as a fighter? Um, no. Mm. Oh, weird. We, you, you remember you're at six, right? Level six, not five? Because I'm looking at five right there. Oh. Well. Do not cuck yourself because we are statted out. Oh, for at level six, you get an ASI as a fighter. No, this is with ASIs. <laughs> no, at level 6 you No, get... this is with ASIs. I'm saying you get another one at level 6. This is with ASIs. Because he already did Yes. It. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm oh, okay. just... It's just shitty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get up because that might actually... Yeah, I do that sometimes, I'm saying. When I feel like I can actually use the energy. And we are off to the races. If we want to grab minis, we're going to use the map for once this time. I said there are ten. There are ten. That's a great question. Their choice. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Right here? Yeah. All right. And I got to remember, I'm short. I'm yeah. It, it helps. Yeah. It definitely helps when you have a visual representation of your character's height. Uh, what you I need two more blank tokens. Two more blank tokens? I'll grab them from over here. Yeah, there's one. Is this flipped over? No, that's not. Oh, there's another one. There we go. Um, flips over to being blank. So you got ten? Yeah, those are ten right there. Okay. Works for me. Okay. There is one in the back, and then the rest are just scattered about. I'll, I'll figure it out, but just pick out your minis because they're pretty much right in front. As you guys um, upon. This Hang person on. has a sword, great sword. Oh, well, two-handed. That's fine. They'll be more up front. Alright, and are you doing one for yourself as well, Caleb? Yeah, I'm fine to do it, man. You want the dwarf? You want Gimli? The, you want the dwarf? Give me Gimli, bro. You <laughs> want the dwarf, don't you? The only one we got is Gimli, though, so wait, I got Gimli. Alright. Alright, and so. I, I kind of just, you know, they're scattered, so you know. It doesn't really matter, they're do scattered. Don't worry about my rights, and that's it. I got rights, alright? Unless you want to have them farther away. And we can this one in the back right here. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just keep them like this. Because really all they did was just kind of notice you, and you notice them, and then that's it. Alright, so is any of them special? Uh, the one in the back. So this one in the back. And there's also... Do you have another colored one? Because there's one that's a half ogre. Looks like a half ogre. So it's, it's weird. I mean, that actually half doesn't. Ogre? Half ogre. Is he still medium size? Yeah, he's the same. He's the same size. Okay. There you go. And that's all I need. Um, here we go. Starting off combat with Oriana. How would you like to st start off today's combat? Twenty three. You got twenty three. I'm twenty four. Actually. Oh, I'm sorry. So sorry, Oriana. Starts. It would be him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, well, we're gonna move hex, or we're gonna put hex on someone, uh, just because we uh, want to do that immediately, and it's gonna be the first person I attack, which is 
going to be cut numbers at this point. Um, if you want to turn that uh, camera a little bit again. No, it happens. Alright, um... Dang, those are some rough rolls. Um, We're going to hit some orcs. Hopefully. That's a 15 hit. Yep. Barely hits. No, then that next one doesn't hit. So it's just the first one. Um, and that is 4 plus... Uh, that is 10 damage to the first one. 10 damage to the first one? Okay. That, the that, other chakra misses. Okay. One of the chakra misses, one of the orc images. Oh, God! What the... What is happening? And, uh... He hurt! I, uh... Since I didn't get to use my other chakra, I'm just gonna pull out my shield and have my shield ready. Okay. Works for me. I'm gonna move slightly. Eh, no, I'm gonna stay right there. Yeah, well, at least Wait for them to come to you? Yeah. yeah. No <laughs> point moving forward and letting them give more chances to flank me. I, I, I feel that. <laughs> Okay, Oriana, your your turn is next. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay, good call. There's a shit ton of them, yeah. And. That's gonna be it in my turn. Alright. That's the end of your turn. What would you like to do? Yep. You, don't have any, you don't have any damage damage, right? Nope. Nope. Otherwise, she would be finger people in the butt. <laughs> And I don't think she wants to do that consistently. I hope to God she doesn't want to do that consistently. <laughs> but if, you never know. I wasn't expecting it. You could do whatever you want with Page in, I guess. And I take the dodge action. You take the dodge action? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Okay. Actually, sorry. As a bonus action, I take one of the... Like, I over... Look like my cloak, like a small cloak that is like a loincloth type thing. Mm -hmm. And I pull it up, and you see a small vial. It's with radiant pink energy. I pop it. I guzzle it down. And as that happens, my muscles bulk up. And around me, literally just wounds start apparating immediately. I literally start just leaking this pink fluid all over me. Ew. That's it? Yep. No oh, King is back. Oh, there's another drug user. <laughs> Alright, we have another drug user in the drug. And Bye. I mm -hmm. gain plus three. Strength. Nice. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, you hear Dirt say that. It's just like, oh, we got a drug user. I get it. It's ice ring deal. It's my own drugs, bitch. It don't matter. An addict's an addict. <laughs> Alright, it is the orc's turn. Dirk did not roll well. So, let's see. What am I going to use first? Hmm. Okay. Um, you're going to have to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Plus four, so fifteen. Okay. Let me see what this DC is. I believe it's at least twenty-three. Um. Yeah, you pass. All right. Uh, you can feel this strange energy try to force you to do something that you don't want to do. Almost like your your the your body is trying to act uh, against you or push against you, but you shake it off and whatever Whoa. you were trying to do before is no longer happening. Just trying to fuck with my mind. I like it. Okay, can't it see any of you? I mean, I would just assume so. Alright, so it goes. And and you can start... Does anyone understand Orcish? Not no. currently, no. That makes no. sense. Mm -hmm. It's very specific. You can hear it go... Yeah, he says, he says that now. He says that now. Oh, gee, God, oh. He says that shit now. 
He'll regret those words. And uh, you just see the words start to go, Ah, yeah, woo, let's do this! He'll regret those words. And the orcs make their aggressive actions. He walks up to Yardville, this first orc. Ah! Here we go. He looks at you with his mean mug, and he goes for a strike with his great axe. Mm. That's not how we. That's not how we start off the enemy. No. That's not how we start off the enemy term. That's not as orcs. Yeah, that. Yeah. Reckless attack. Reckless attack. So reckless attack is what it is. Natural one. Nice. That's exactly how we start. That's a new dice, Caleb. It is a new dice, I know! Okay, it's a new dice set. You gotta be You know what? I'm gonna give it one more chance. Got one more chance. Again, you're done. Then you put it in the horny gel. Yeah. I mean, dice gel. That one misses. It's just one, right? Here yeah. we go. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Yeah, 18 more. He to go. goes up yeah. to you and he goes, Ah! And he does his fucking red eggs. <laughs> 18 fucking more to go, Caleb. Go okay. ahead. Okay, that might be decent. Who knows? D- um, with disadvantage, I'm taking the dodge action. True enough. So I took it. <laughs> 14 to hit. Nope. Alright. At least it didn't grow me a natural one, that's all I care about. Okay. And it goes and it attacks. The oh. <laughs> right, attention OP. 15. <laughs> Five. What was that right here? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And from there, he launches a javelin at what seems to be Dirth. No, Dirth should have been invisible. It's his fault. Well, he doesn't want to waste it yet. He doesn't doesn't want to waste now it that I've fault. decided to do something different, he has limited invisibility. Oop. So, um, that misses. Another one. Fires another javelin. Misses. It's okay. At least I'm not rolling ones all the time. I'm not hitting, but I'm not rolling ones. He's no, gonna you hold. You don't need a hit though. Ten, fifteen. You just need to roll ones. <laughs> and fires another javelin. It seems to be towards. Um, yeah, let's just say Yarvel for a moment. Misses. You're in jail. <laughs> or in jail. Uh, you can see. This strange uh, orc, but it's not really an orc. It's got like a strange, uh, even uglier features to it. It's a little bit more burly, and it seems to be just staying next to the big one and going, Yeah! Oh, is it the fat one that floats around on a chair? Damn it, he's back. Does he have a crown too? What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Mapo yeah. Island. <laughs> Motherfucker, Mapo Island. I'm talking about Mapo Island. He's fine. Yeah, no, he's not. He's madness going on. He tried to murder us. I fucking love Mapo Island. Shut the fuck up about Mapo Island. Mapo he's Island a, he's really a Duro in disguise. And then there is one more. Oh, yeah, that's the one in the middle. Damn. What the hell am I doing? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yep, that's ten. I just didn't... Do that right action. Oh, it would have missed anyway, so. That's the point. That's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. It doesn't really matter. It's fine. All right. It would be Durst's turn. Um, he's going to take it. <laughs> he's going to walk up. Advantage for flanking. Yep. And then if he hits a sneak attack. Damn, DM is not rolling too great right now. Yeah, Even with happens. advantage. What, is, what happens? Miss, no, miss, that miss. missed. That was a 13. Miss, miss, miss. As, uh, miss. He tries to come up behind this this orc and uh, with his, what seems to be daggers now at this point as he has put his axe away, he tries to come up from behind and somehow the orc manages to scrap him off and maybe push him aside. And that would be the end of his turn. Oof. Because he went for Dagger Dagger and missed both. Dirth, you need to get better, bro. That was really bad. <laughs> that was not a good roll for him. That happens um, sometimes. Yeah. 
Uh, back at the top of the round, Yarvo, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to attack the one that Darth... Which one has my hex on it? Um, you decide. It doesn't matter. You didn't yeah, you determine just put, that. Just, you can literally... It's you, right there, You can so. determine it. Yeah. Use this yeah. To, no, this one we remember. In this round, anyways. I mean, this way we just remember in general. You determine which one. Is. Oh, oh, shrimp. That was okay. good. It's, is that okay? Yeah. All right. Then it move a little bit. Yeah. Not too crazy, right? No, not like last time. All right. That's good. We're good. Those look like they. Those three attacks hit. Uh, regardless. Uh, so two of these are going to be on. Uh, let's see. Uh, that first attack is on the one I already hit. Um, plus six is brain work. Uh, Thirteen damage to the first one. Okay. Is that one still alive? Um, that one's still alive. Yeah, they're orcs. They're pretty. Uh, all right. That is another. Is it the same one? The same one. Okay, that's dead. It's dead if it's all the right. same one. So you can go ahead and take that one off. I would just kill that one. In same uh, world combat. That one was just a nice quick slice, slice, and then I drop my shield and grab out my other shot drum, um, and move here. Uh, right. And hit the last one. Hit Four. the folk. Hit the folk. Eighteen damage on the last one. Ooh, 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 and ooh. I will take this one opportunity of attack to move here. Okay. Miss. Miss, miss, kish, kish. DM is not rolling great right now, guys. Yeah, is, bro. You gotta depend on these ones. Yeah. When DM starts rolling, no, you can take the risky maneuvers. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, it's not looking too great for combat this week. It's fine. It's fine. And it's good uh, on your end, not mine. Exactly. That's all that matters. I end my turn. All right. And I end my turn oh, yeah. defense mode. Go ahead. Your turn. What would you like to do? I can always throw you. <laughs> yeah, you only see liquid just pouring off of this weird lion creature. And I'm like like limping. Like every now and then like my limbs just go like limp a little bit, but then I I straighten up. It's like Pepto Bismol. Oh like yeah. Pepto Bismol just Yay, Pepto Bismol. <gasps> dripping from him. It's weird. You have the stat block? Ah! Spectre! I right. finally use it! It does. You just see the strange... It doesn't actually require me to do anything. Let me actually double check yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, well, you can curse a soul temporarily at binding it to... Does it roll for initiative? Uh, roll initiative for the Spectre. Okay, so... Uh, but do you want me to add it to my turn just to make it simple? To, to, yeah. You just add it to your turn. Just like right after your turn? Mm-hmm. The game's... Oh. It's hey. a super specter. It's an above average specter. Yeah, literally Forge never even got to use his. It was at the end of combat, and it just stood there. That specter's gonna float right there. Ooh. While we're, yeah. Yeah. While we're at it. Alright. Then we're not gonna take a turn. Yeah. No, I just feel free. Right. Either way, I didn't, yeah, either way. The special one, all the way in the back, needs to make a... The special save. one? The special one. How do you know he's special? Casting little spells. You know, doing a little hocus pocus. He ain't special. I'm special. Uh, what's your special? 16. 16, it rolled a 17. Yeah. Unfortunately. You should have done brain damage. I love that spell, brain so, damage. Since I summoned it, does it also get to go? I don't. Before the end of the turn. Because I, I would say so, yeah. I would say so. Okay. I, I think so. Yeah. Oh. 
Because it, uh, it's an auto. Turn, I can't really do anything. It's auto something. You don't even get a choice, so, really, do you? Um, that's a natural 20. Okay. Roll <laughs> <laughs> <Lower> your damage. <laughs> You know, I need your. I need to make a copy of your dice. That's what it really is. I mean, when you roll a lot, that's kind of how it happens. Yeah, <laughs> just, I, just I, I rolled four copies. times, you know, and all of them have been with dice. advantage, so, you know. Mm -hmm. um. hey, Chris, if you could just send me your, uh, your, your make and model. Uh, 25 damage. All right, that one pops. And also, who do you got your hex on? This way, that one just died. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and th this stun doesn't. I don't think deals my hex damage, so we don't even know. So I'll move it to someone else eventually, and then this guy will move here. Okay, works for me. Yeah, yeah that this... probably would be OP. <laughs> if your spectre can do it too, because it's three d six necrotic damage when it hits. I mean, I'm four. sure your hex specifies you. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Yeah. It's your turn. What are you doing? What I was meant for! And I've also given you advantage of the Spectre, so... Go for the first swing! Oh yeah, looking good, looking good! 30-20. Okay, that hits. And as that happens, though, I start to literally scratch and gnarl at my arms. And it starts to leak even more and I take four points of damage god it's so much oh my god yeah I rolled good for that <laughs> 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 I rolled good for <laughs> hurting <laughs> myself <laughs> and then I like to start to scratch and paw at my arm and go, no that hurts so good and as that happens like this pink liquid just starts to spill out of me and starts to coat the outside of my sword and you can see like this plasma just like every now and then sparking off of it mm -hmm. in different shapes and different forms as it starts to wisp off of it and I just <laughs> and I deal 3 d6 damage plus 6 so uh Six. Uh, 16 damage for uh, the first hit. Okay. So I got? Yep. Alright. Natural 20. That one dies. Alright. Don't roll your damage. See? It happens. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Especially when you have advantage, that, that's what makes it that's what makes it busted. Alright, so I'll just make sure to remove him. And I go, holy oh, yeah! <laughs> I just move forward once and that's it. Okay. At the end of your turn? Yes, it is. It is Here's my bonus action and my action. Gotcha. It is the orc's turn. Come at me! That's a dirty 20 to hit. No, oh, it hits. Yeah. Yeah, it rolls with its great axe. As this one comes down to swing on you. Please. Eight do. points of slashing damage. Another one. Another one. Comes around and starts to swing. More, more, more! That'll be a 21 to hit, so I know that hits. That would be 12 points of damage. Slashing. As another one comes in and slices into you. No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> This one yells. <laughs> and as it yells, you can see the other one start to chant with it. <laughs> the rest of these guys roll with advantage. 
Natural 20. <laughs> I rolled a 1 and a 20. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah! They're attacking me, correct? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would have rolled a 1 if I didn't do that, so. They're attacking Garvo, actually. Okay. With that one. Damn it, I don't have armor of hexes yet. Yeah. I don't have my no button. <laughs> yeah. What do you have your no button? Require that no it's button going button. to hurt Caleb, but you know, that's perfectly fine. Um. That'll be 24 points of slashing damage. Juicy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, this is hurt on me, because I'm already hurt. <laughs> yeah. This is this was this was an encounter that you could just have, by the way. This is your guys' level six, so you guys can handle it now. No, we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. This this other one's gonna come up. 10, 20, and also go for Yarbell with a damage. Really bad. No, I'm not even gonna count that because both of those were terrible. I rolled two threes. All right. It's gonna go for dirt this time. Two twos. Two two two. two. Not only one good roll so far with the with the enemy. So there's that. Um, this one in the back. You die! It's really cold! You're right about that one. And because it's cold, you will die. <laughs> Let's see. What? That's weird. Let's see. Okay. That's weird. Okay, I'm not even going to even think about that one. Um, once again, it's going to look at you. Actually, I'm going to roll for it. I'm going to roll a d4 here to determine who it, who she goes for because technically she wouldn't know who's the most deadly or anything like that. She would just choose. She's going to look at you, and you must make a wisdom saving throw. Can't see her, can she? Past huh? all those people. I'm really this has a question. Like three people on this mall. Yeah, true. Enough. This has a question, like honestly. Like, no, you're fine. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying you're cucking me. That I'm just. I didn't take that into account. Because technically, I just rolled. No, yeah. If you want to count four as being the specter. Yeah. Um, well, it's like, pointless. Like... Um, I'll reroll. That's fine. Yeah, as far as line of sight goes. It doesn't. It, it doesn't really matter. I haven't even, like, really popped out behind anybody. No, you're good. They don't really know you're there. So, the so like King, you make a uh, wisdom save. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Fifteen again. All right, you pass. <laughs> Trying to get into my fucking mind. I like it. This one over here. Five, ten, fifteen. Gets in the middle here. And you can see him... And you can see the other ones start to look back and go, nah, 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 nah. I'm not exactly sure what it's, what it's doing, but it's having an effect on the orcs. And it'll be the end of the orcs' turn. All right, all right. It'll be Durst's turn. He can... He can move here. He won't get advantage, but he can at least get a sneak attack. Well, actually, he doesn't have to make the attack that one. He has sneak attack stuff. Yep, that's what he's going to do. With advantage, right? No, no advantage. Oh, right, you're, not, you're not wrong. Okay. That hits. Roll for it. It's fine. So... Um, that would be normal six points, and then we'll go sneak attack damage. Okay, and three D6s. Yeah, that just pops that one. 
That was done. With sneak attack, Jesus, these things don't stand a chance. She, yeah. He just... And just slices into that one's back. Did he go for the one that he just picked up, or the other one? The one that he could have gotten sneak attack then. Yeah, sneak the one attack I picked, yeah. Okay, yeah. just making sure. So, yep, yeah, that's the end of his turn. Okay. We are moving on to the top of the round again. Go ahead, you're up. Would you like to be up? Who's on deck? Uh, I would be Oriana. Oriana, you're on deck. I'm just going to move my hex and pick up my shield. Who are you moving it to? Uh, this one. Okay. He's probably going to die, so yeah. Just make sure. So uh, well, that's the lowest is a, a 15 to hit, so. Alright, that hits. And that is. Thirty-two damage. Yeah, even with the thing that was given to him, that's a pop. Pop. Thirty-two damage to that one. Did they look more resi- resilient when he struck them? Um, make a perception check. You are in pain. But I love it though. Nine. Nine. Hard to tell. <laughs> and I end my turn and my specter goes. It's there for advantage. Ah. Only a high hexplice curse on that thing. It's not going to be another crit, but it's not. Um, but a natural 19, I'm presuming, hits. That hits. Your damage. Uh, that one takes uh, 7 points of necrotic damage. Yikes! The specter slips in behind him and just eases his hand into him and sits there for a second and then pulls it back out. <laughs> yeah. And just the energy flows through the work in that moment. Oh, what? Oh, oh God. Oh, it feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. You're oh, touching my enzymes. You're corrupting me. Ew. 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 You're, Ew. Corru- you're corrupting me. <laughs> okay. I wasn't corrupted before that. Oriana, it is your turn. Oh, uh, King, you're on deck. I'm on deck. Who's looking worse? Like, me. Is it enough for talking about HP wise? Me, probably. If you drop below twenty nine, yeah. Oh, I'm fine. I'm at fifty one. Oh, I'm at twenty nine now. Fifty three. Oh, oh great. You yeah, he's that. the only one who <laughs> really got like. Really hit. Oh, I actually have. A, I actually have HP for this character. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have seventy five. Yeah, I have fifty three. <laughs> total. Yeah. All right. So. But I have a solid AC. That's a good part. With I'm the shield twenty two. You got with this. With casting shield, 27. No, with the And casting healing <laughs> word on you. Alright, there you go. So, you got this. You I'm got fine. This. Oh, that's fucked. Just let me at him. That is maxed. So, the casting ability be 9 total HP. Alright. That'll help. Yeah. Yeah, that's maxed for yeah. level 1. Yeah, it helps. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else? Uh, that'll be it. Okay. Right. I take an opportunity of attack. Okay. 22. 22, okay. I like the risky game you're playing. Mm-hmm. You Me want too. To that'll be 9 points of slashing damage. 9 points, okay. And I say, I am king. Remember the name. So king Okeon. He just responds in Orcish, and you can see him scratching his head. And arm. they need to make a wisdom saving throw. All of them? Yep. Okay. Everyone within 10 feet of me. That is, of course, an end. So that will be... Yeah. Let me go ahead All and see. of them except for the caster. Yeah. What is your DC? Okay, so it's 8 plus proficiency plus con. So proficiency right now is plus 3. And my con is 8 plus 4. So 8 plus 11 plus 15. Okay, all pass except one. 
Okay, so that one is friend. Okay. Which one let's, is friend? Let's just say the one on the end. This one. Which one? The you say end? Do you mean this end or this end? Yeah, yeah I forget. Uh, the one in front of me. So the nearest one to me. The nearest one to you? To me as Caleb. So this one. Let's okay. just say this one. Oh. Fuck. Because <laughs> I, I have a frightening feature as a Leonin, which I could use once. Snarf. I was really hoping for it. Um, yeah, I take another opportunity to attack if I go back to that one. <laughs> Alright, I'll just attack them. Okay. Which one are you attacking? One in front of you? One in front, uh, so I have a plus. Okay, so that, uh, are, were you moving there just particularly for the frightened? Yes. You could have moved here. Without having to risk the opportunity to attack. No, I still would get the opportunity to attack, but not the two opportunity attacks, though. This one's the one that's frightened. Yeah, no, I was next to that one. You were here. I was here, yeah. So, so I moved down I moved down there. Yeah. In front of the other one. But uh, You could actually there. move back if you want. If you moved like that and you you were in No, but I already moved I already moved where I moved, so Yeah, okay. Yeah. What's your You're right though, but I didn't It ain't he didn't yeah. make sure. Exactly. So that's fine. I already took my hand off at that point. What is your um damage? so yeah. What did, what did you roll, sorry? So, eight. That one 15. is... Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. For the one in front of you, the... the Because that one this is... This one, right? Or this one. The yeah. one the one right there. The one that you're pointing at? Yes. My fingers on? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. For fifteen? Yep. Okay. Uh, so, let's say... That one misses as well. I'm done. Mm. Uh, yeah, you, as you were looking at this, this creature as well, um, it'll do, <laughs> it'll scream once again. All the, the rest of the orcs once again look back at this almost as if they're in a trance and just doosh, 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 and yell. And, uh, the one in front of you now takes its great axe out. And you go, I want deep dark! Yeah! And it's going to attack you. I use Blood Curse of the Eyeless. What does that do? Minus three to your roll. Okay. And I enhance it, which I take three damage. My eyes start to bleed. So Just you... this pink necrotic energy. Enhancing it doesn't make it any less? It lasts for 24 hours. Oh, so he automatically... He always has three... Minus three? No, every time I roll for every time you try to attack. Okay. So every attack against you is minus three? No, 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 no. I keep rolling. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a new roll every time. Okay. So... So I take three damage. Yeah, that first one actually misses. All right. It's a good thing you did that. And it's a four. Minus four. Okay. That is a 17 to hit. Squid mm-hmm. ass. Yeah, it hits. It rolled high. That's a d20, Caleb. These great axes do d20 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine <laughs> if they crit. <laughs> yeah, it's a natural one, right? <laughs> Pull up our, our style where we max the first die. Uh, 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 that is 17 <laughs> points of slashing damage. All right. Uh, and it also gets one more attack. Alright. Minus one. That is a 22. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then one more. <clears throat> that is a total of 20 points of slashing damage. Alright, that was 2 HP. Cool. As uh, this guy lays into you. Yeah. <laughs> Almost with raging uh, aggression. Uh, All of the most aggressive orc here. Uh, also, um, this time I won't roll oh, for sorry, it. not 24 hours. Just this for this turn. Applies to all the targets attack this turn. All right. Seeing you messed up, uh, he's, this one in the back is going to make you make it with some second turn. Can you use inspiration? Go for it. Uh, that is 
is 22. 22, that passes. So once again, you can feel the strange magic trying to force you to do something you don't want to do. You shake it off, and uh, you move on with your life. Now the rest of the works. Roll with advantage. Uh, that missed. Next one. Next to you. Does this move her? Mm, I'll focus on him in a second. Uh, this one misses as well, as both actually miss you. This one's going to move over towards you, and after seeing his friends miss, they're trying to to kick you down while you're while you're in a very bad state. All three miss. All right. Yeah. Even with advantage. Yeah, even with advantage, they did not. Well, well, like I'm saying, like I'm saying, I'm not really. One of them had disadvantage. Yeah. Regardless, they would have all missed. Okay. Besides, there's one that's in front of Dirk. Let's see what happens. That's a one and a two. I. It's okay. You know, missing. We're that's okay. We're just all missing. That's fine. No one needs to hit. It's not a part of the it game. It is Dirk's turn. Um. Sure. Dagger, dice, dagger. The dice chose for you. Yep. I'm just going to dagger, dagger on this guy in front of me. The dice chose for and you. I recommend short sword, short sword. If he has. It's actually better than dagger, dagger. No, it's the best. Yeah. Yeah, probably. But, you know, if you're. If I mean, you're I don't know if he has. When, when you can actually sword. get him weapons, short sword, short sword's best. Yeah, it probably is. I just was kind of going. Yeah. So you're, so you're not wrong on that. Uh, I'm not even going to count the damage. Both of those hit. Uh, if we're adding... Yeah, that guy's dead. The guy in front of me pops. So, that'll be the end of his turn. Top of the round. Alright. You can see King bleeding out of every orifice. There's strange liquid as well. What would you wish to do? Uh, that my first attack's going to miss. As I move to try and kill some of the ones that are flanking King. Uh, that second one's going to hit with a 18 to hit. Roll your damage. And I moved Hex onto that one. And this was the one that was already damaged, to clarify. Yeah. Um, and that is 9 plus uh, 14 damage to that one. That one goes down. Um, and then I'm going to move uh, here and look at... Uh, this ogre thing and go, really? You're fucking crazy. <laughs> it once again scratches his head out of confusion. <laughs> <laughs> it. The specter moves there. That's a uh, 16 to hit that one. Uh, yep, yeah, that one hits. And that is, oh, nearly max damage. Almost triple sixes. Um, triple six, triple six. 17 damage. Okay. As the specter just reaches in, grabs its heart for a moment, mm-hmm. digs its claws and tries to pull the heart out, but doesn't quite manage. All right. Gotcha. Uh, that it it went as ah ah ah. You can see it's oh it's almost like. Something is digging inside of you, and the reaction on its face is not how you would expect. It's almost like something is inside of it trying to get out. And the specter ends its turn. All right. Uh, yep, yeah, that would be your turn, Oriana. You're on deck, King. Around me, or vitality. 
Okay, so that. So that would do. I wouldn't accept your. You can move to include me. Yeah, and it won't affect the enemies. It only affects your yeah. party members. Uh, and for the first creature, 2d6 to you for healing. Okay. And that's a total of five. Mm-hmm. Five more than, than nothing. Five more than I had, yeah. I was on 2 HP, so yeah, that's pretty good. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, that is the end of your turn. Okay, your turn. Okay. So how far? What you doing, man? Alright, I outstretch my arms towards that motherfucker over there. Mm hmm. The yeah. red dot. Yeah. Piece of shit. You can see the caster out there with their wand, not wand, but like a stick. And I start to just cripple my hand and I crush my claws inwards, hoping that I don't down myself. Yeah, basically what you with that aura of vitality did was allow him to do this. Uh huh. So there's something. That's out of my. That. It, it's it's a part of my skill set. Do I have to make a um, save? Nope. It happens. Yeah, it just happens because I'm damaging myself to do it. Um. Yeah. So this creature is unable to move or take a reaction okay. until the end of my next turn. Okay. But since I'm amplifying it, it lasts for one minute. Okay. And then after my ends after the end of my next turn, then it gets to make saves. Yeah, you kind of see. Eh, it's close enough. You guys can see this creature start to not like. It's having a hard time with motions all of a sudden as you see Kane kind of like close her claws. You see just like pink ooze coming out of this creature and secreting towards its legs. It's kind of like making cement boots. As uh, I go for a strike on the one in front of you, this one has been damaged already. Well, we need to take care of the orc guy. Yeah. Well, he's well, giving them a lot of advantage. The big, yeah. yeah. We need to take care of that guy. So, 18 to hit. 18 hits. Okay. So. Okay, that's pretty good. Eighteen points of damage. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Four being um, thunder damage. Oh no. Uh yeah, natural nineteen. That hits. I'm going to re-roll that one. With another one. <laughs> the truly unfortunate. Yeah. Oh thing. yeah. Thirteen points of damage for that one. Okay. And that's all I got. That's all I got. Yeah. It works for me. Alright. It is now the enemy turn. The one in front of you does its thing. And instead of going for its battle cry, it's going to sub that out for another hit. That's what I thought, bitch. You're probably going down here, because I will do 24. Yeah, honestly, I figured I would go down anyway, so might as well make use so of it. So just go ahead and put yourself down. Um, yeah. Still got a hit, but it's going to go for another attack on you. All right. Two natural ones, guys. Ouch. I'm, I'm telling you, it's bad. I'm not, but the thing is, that's this good. is that's, that's good. good on him. That's good for you guys. That's good for him. He's he's a, he's a, he's at a very bad spot. Yeah. That one does hit that. So you, instead of you dying, you do take two death saving throws. I mean, I don't see why he would stop. Fucking. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. And then the other one is going to go for it too. Yeah. 
This one has one hit though. Actually, you're on the it's ground. Still advantage, yeah. It's still advantage. That misses. I rolled a three and a four. So you're still you're still up. I swim down. It's like even if I didn't do those points of damage to myself, I still would have been down. Yeah. Because it was only what? It's just eight, an unfortunate Eight thing. damage I did to myself altogether, I still would be down. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, this is rough. Uh, the one in the back still has spell slot, so she's going to <clears throat> do the spell slot thing. And she's going to, once again, realize that her magic isn't doing what it's supposed to. And she's going to cast what seems to be a oh, sorry. strength. What's she makes a strength save, sorry. What? She makes a strength save to, for my, to uh, do anything? No, no, for my blood curse. Okay. She would have failed that. So. Okay. Well, um, she's going to cast what seems to be a spectral uh, spear in the air that's going to appear... Um, Let's say near you, Yarbell. Okay. And it's going to attack. That is... What's her... 18 to hit. Yes. That definitely misses. Um, That's all she can do for right now. As uh, that's what she is... That's what she's using for attacking. She can't move, so... There you go. Um... And that'll be the end of the enemy turn. It's Dirk's turn. Uh, if you can move him towards... Hmm. What do you do? You are dying. Yes. <laughs> Did you go here or here? Essentially. Yeah. Let's just say that he goes for the other one. That's not the word cheap. You can't do anything about me dying. This <laughs> one? Yeah. He needs to get, get down the numbers. Honestly, because right now he's just in the way. That was close to a natural 20, but no. Um, still hits, so... If we're adding if we're adding the, the damage that he does right now because of rogue stuff, that one pops. All right. I don't need to focus on damage when it and comes to rogue stuff. does he want to move his and make his second dagger attack on that one at least? Um. Yeah, move him to that. And barely hits with a 16. So I'll actually roll that damage because that's necessary. I rolled a 16 to hit before. You rolled a 15. You rolled a 15. It was a 15, on, was a 15 oh. on the guy, yeah. That's why I asked you specifically mm-hmm. for it. And you said 16 on the die, right? That's what you meant? Or, uh, did you mean 15 on the die? Or did you mean 15 in total? They're probably on 15 total, yeah. Most okay. Because yeah. um, that would have been significantly different. Regardless, he does a decent amount of damage to this thing. I'll calculate it as the dagger goes inside of it. And he yells. That'll be end of his turn. Yes. Darvel, what would you like to do? Uh, well, that makes my life easier. I'm moving Hex onto that one. Moving here. And uh, Oriana, you're on deck. I know you don't feel like you were useful, but you were. We could probably bring I mean, him he, back. He's, he's going to get back up. Right? Yeah. Because like, of that, that horror. That enemy turn would have potentially... Yeah. All right, so that is two hits, because that's a natural 15 and a natural 19 on that guy. All right. Um, and he is going to take... Uh, 15... Twenty-seven points of damage. He is bloody. Uh, and then I'll move back here and end my turn, so my specter can move here. All right, do your specter thing. Specter, roll with advantage. Is now he is crowded around all these adventurers. That's a natural nineteen, so that's definitely gonna hit. And that hits. Roll your damage on him. Um, and he needs to make a pawn save for me, since it will actually matter. Well, does the, any of these guys have healing? No, actually. But then it won't matter. Um, so that is 11 more points of damage, necrotic. Gotcha. 
and the specter ends its turn. Oriana, it is your turn. King, you are on deck. You're probably going to be up. I'm first going to cast Cure Wounds. Well, you are up, so you have a turn. D8. That's max. That's 8. That's 13. Plus another D, 2D6 from the Vitality. Yeah. And that's additional for 6. Yeah, that's a lot. And that's the turn. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you don't have to worry about the death chase at least. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that, that's the that was the and issue. And you say it was useless. Mm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> when you open your, when you open your eyes, you just see the uh, the the form of the halfling. It's cold. Your body is shivering, mm-hmm. and it is it it was it was dark. It was the lights were out, and you were going bye bye. <sighs> Where was I? Oh yeah! I was gonna fuck this guy up. <laughs> I stand up. That's where you see your magic going to. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't want anybody to die, so. No, I understand. It's just really fun. Mm-hmm. Natural 16. Go ahead. Do your oh, worst. Fuck you up, brother. And. 20 points of damage. Damn, alright, that hurt. Natural 18. Okay, do your damage. <laughs> that hurt! That yeah, was 20 I'm, getting, points. I'm getting back up with a vengeance, okay? Mm-hmm. 17 points of damage. Ooh! Yeah, he is not looking good after that one. He's pissed. He's still up? He is still up. He is he is a sturdy motherfucker. He has been taking blow after blow after blow. And it's almost like you're hitting like a wall. That's kind of how it feels, attacking this creature. Alright. As my bonus action... What you doing? I just, like, hold myself, like, tightly. Okay. And, like, I grip my palms once more. And aura just starts flowing throughout me. And it just, like, labels into his wounds and start to actually go and fester inside of it. Every time he attacks anyone, he takes intelligence points of damage from me. No save. Okay, so how much... How my much intelligence... I'm not rolling anything. It's just intelligent points of damage, so he takes two points, two of, points of damage. Okay. Every time he attacks. All right, that might actually matter. Okay, so it is his turn. Uh, what you do see is you can see the caster from afar. Um, one of the strange, it's like a strange uh, red aura uh, goes around him, and bless you. Bless you. Uh, he gets some extra stuff bless you. with this Thank one. You bless, so uh, bless you. I almost said bless you. <laughs> but that's what I was trying to say. Yes. Blast you is what you meant but, to say. <laughs> well, the reason why I was saying that was because I was... You are reading a spell? Yeah, because mm-hmm. I'm cast plus, whatever. <laughs> I'm not entertained anymore. Um, 22 to hit. Actually, no, it's way more than that, but I was just counting yeah. a little bit. Um, is he going for me? He saw you get back up, and you fucked him up heavily there. That was that was a lot of damage, and he's noticing you. Ow! That is that is twenty seven points of damage. Adam Donigan with one hit. Then he also takes two points of uh, damage as well. Ow. Ow! This thing, this this one in particular does not fuck around. And I'm just running the encounter because you guys can actually handle this. Now, if this was earlier and you randomly came across this, you guys would not be dealing with these motherfuckers at all. You take two. Mm-hmm.
Miss. Two sixes. That will probably still hit me. No, not with his. He's been rolling high. He's the only one I've been rolling high on. He, that would have been an 11. Mm. Yeah. But the orc on the side... 17 to hit. Is that me because he has the weapon next to me? Or? Uh, that's, that's not an orc, to clarify. Oh, you're not that's wrong. That's my specter. You're not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we killed all the orcs. Yeah. It was just them two left. Um, yeah, I understood. I understand now. I'm just going to transfer it over to the spellcaster because she's got a she's got firebolt. So that would hit. Uh, firebolt? Is that directed at him who's prone? It would be disadvantage if it's him who's prone. Mm-hmm. Let me, let me figure it out. I got yeah. you. I got yeah. you. This is because I was calculating it wrong in my brain. Um... I'm just gonna re-roll out of my brain. It's gonna be with disadvantage though. Fourteen. That misses, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it barely grazes the side and you 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 feel your consciousness going in and out. That'll be the end of his turn. Feel my body flopping on the floor. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, it'll, it'll be, um, Dirt's turn. Yep. That hits. Natural 20. Nice. One of them was a natural 20, so. <sighs> Can't figure out that damage. I'm just gonna roll it. That's why I have this here, because I gotta roll it. Sneak attack. That's max dice there. And then snack, sneak attack. Uh, she also needs to make a strength save as well. Gotcha. Yeah, that was that was like thirty points of damage. Oh, did he crit? Yeah, he did yeah. one of them. So that, yep, that's the end of that one. He daggers go in and he's down. He is on the ground as you can just see him rip into him with these daggers. This one's dead. Yep, the, yep, the big one's dead. That was a lot of damage. And that'll be the end of his turn, uh, Yarbo. Well, seeing as I can do nothing to help this one survive, I go try to kill the last one. <laughs> And the strength safer for her as well. Twelve. Twelve. I move my hex on to this bitch. <laughs> this bitch? This bitch. This hole? This hole. This hole. Um, and that is a natural 16 and a natural 19. So I think both of those hits. Those hit. Uh, and I say, did you really try and kill King? I am sorry, I'm going to have to murder you. Mm-hmm. And that they came in. And uh, um, seven plus three to ten plus eleven. Uh twenty-three damage. Uh and I'll actually have moved here. So 23 damage as I move in behind her and double shot her. That hurt. And then this one moved at flanking. Ah, of course. And natural 19. Nice. Um, that should be very natural. Very natural. <laughs> um, it's not going to make Really, twenty damage, you said. Um, eleven more points of damage. Okay. She is still up, but she is hurting heavily. Oriana, it's your turn. 
in the spectral move here, just in case. Roll a d20 before she does what she does. What am I adding? You just give me a d20. 12. 12? 12. 12. Okay. healing word and just say get your ass up <laughs> between fading and, and out of consciousness you just hear shut your ass up and vitality walks into your body but it's hard to move right. it's just the coldness between the coldness and the body the blood leaving your body is just it's just rough let me just uh, hurt myself every five seconds that's <laughs> Eight points of healing for the first one, and then you get eleven more points of healing. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. Alright. Okay, what do you do? Happy. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> I drop my great sword and take out my crossbow. I say I'm gonna bolt you to the fucking ground, bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a natural sixteen. Which? Oh, it's not working. Uh, I'll fix it. Thank you for noticing that. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's an 18 to hit. It's been stuck there. For a while. Right, let me see what I can do. Fix it. Go ahead, what was it? Uh, six points of damage. Okay. Um, She's still up, but she's ravaged. At this point. Alright. Uh, it's a bonus action to let a crossbow? Because I don't have... Action. Action? Okay, yeah. So I have to wait then. Alright. I think you could do it as part of your attack action. I'm not entirely about it. No, I don't think so. There we no. go. Fix it. Unless it's action to reload it, basically. Uh, let me look at the crossbows real quick. Uh, yeah, I action. actually ever used one. Okay. But that one having the crossbow creature. That would be... Anything else? No, he's just looking. It's a light crossbow. Um, to make sure loading properly and whatnot. It's the thing to look at because the time takes to load. I want this ammunition. Action, bunch, action, action. Fire, action. Oh, because of the time required to load this weapon, you can only fire one piece of ammo uh, when you use the action, bonus action, or reaction, regardless of number of attacks you normally have to make. That is the actual PHB wording, so basically it means when you make an attack action, you only get one attack. Okay, weapon. yeah, that's fine. That's all I did. Okay. Um, at the end of your turn, make a constitution saving throw. Between the cold and the blood, that's the blood loss. You're used to it, but this this is rough. Going down twice, fading from in and out of consciousness, it takes a toll on your body. You're you're really wobbly right now. But once again, you're used to it. Nothing nothing yet. You you passed what I was trying to do, but barely. Not trying to do what I was asking. Um, that'll be the end of its turn. Um, the orc drops its staff. 
Oh, actually, I, I didn't realize. I actually bonus action. Bonus action what? Move it to her. Move what to her? My uh, brand of castration. Okay. Yeah, I didn't actually realize I can move it as well. So yeah, I apply it to her instead. And now the pink liquid seeps into her from him. Okay. She drops her staff and she says in common, as she seems to be the only one who really speaks common. Please! No! Have mercy! You are asking for mercy. At the moment, yeah. I understand if you don't give you it, though. You're gonna probably kill me anyway, so. She's dropped her weapon at this point? Yep. Tell me. If I let you go, what happens? That was my tribe. Your tribe is dead. Yep. How will you survive? I'll figure it out, I guess. But I'd rather figure it out alive than dead. True enough. So what will you have of me? I will have you kneel and give your life to the Yellow King. Sure. All right. Okay. What do I say? You say nothing. All right. And I walk in front of her, and I take out one of my clawed uh, talon hands, mm-hmm. clawed hands, and I carve the symbol into her shoulder. Hmm. And I release the blood dripping from my finger and go, If you so much as harm a citizen of ten towns, I will kill you myself. And trust me, no matter how big your tribe is, I'll murder every last one of yours. Now, if you wish to do better, and live. Is there any towns that would accept orcs around here? Probably Tourmaline. And not to say, I mean, your town accepted a Durgar. So technically, your town technically wouldn't be a terrible option, <laughs> but it's... Tourmaline was the one with the with the mines, right? Yeah, the one with... They had a Dragonborn as a leader, so... No, they had an orc as a half-orc as a leader. No, which one was the other thing? Uh, yeah, Dragonborn was the care conic. I thought uh, Dragonborn was... No, no, you're right. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm thinking... Yeah. Yeah. I thought... No, it wasn't good. Yeah, care conic was, was... Yeah, because he's the hero guy. Yeah, this guy's the hero guy. Um, it's probably your best shot if we're going look for that. And go... I'm sorry, what was uh, the name of the town again? Termaline. 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 And I'll give her directions. You go there. The leader is a half orc. Tell the leader, or whoever meets you at the gates, that Yarvel has sent you to help them through the winter. If you do this, they may let you live, and you will have a chance to live in a town of warmth, food, and a mine. That is my option I am giving you. If you do not accept it, I will gladly kill you now. Her gaze seems distant. She seems to be lost. And you see the symbol that you carved into her skin start to glow. As you probably get the sense that what what you were trying to do is active at the moment. And I'm just making sure when she dies, she goes to the Guild King. That's I know that. I give a shit about. I know that, but <laughs> something else is coming with that at this moment. Okay. 
And she gets back and she goes. The fuck? Yelp, what you said? Termline? Yes. Yep, okay. Holy hell! That was wild! I gotta go. Oh my god! And she's yelling as she walks away. Thank you, I guess! Oh my god! <laughs> um, also, I... She probably wouldn't be saying those words, it's just yeah. the expression. What, are you trying to kill her? No, I just know the direction of the branded creature. So you can basically tell if she mm -hmm. makes it all the way to turn yeah. one. Mm-hmm. So if she dies, then it would fade, essentially. At all times, did you know this shit? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Because the vibrant lasts until I dismiss it or apply it to another creature. Understood. Um, with that, we're going to take our break, and when we come back, we'll do the idea summit. We take a nice long nap right here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Right out in 